It's always good to see you drop in here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's Mo trying to sound like a seal. Excuse me, that's Mo definitely sounding like a seal. It's really annoying that there's no lights in here. All right, whatever. Oh, it's that. <gasps> oh, fuck. <sighs> I got all excited. Then I got to the other side of the again with my dad who showed me that movie when I was fucking 14. Um, yeah. And and for, if you want to go way back, I've always heard the stories where he would like he would rock me to bed right for for nap time or whatever as an infant or a toddler and he'd be singing ronnie james dio songs and put like judas priest and black sabbath on and so like it's it, it's not surprising where i am at this point with with all of that so anyways here's to die trump die or as many people call him todd cheers to you love you dad Oh my god. Uh. Fuck. <gasps> Double fuck. Could it be something Speed. that. One week since you fingered me. <gasps> oh my god. I just. <laughs> I wasn't fucking ready for that. I don't have to collect good. Did you finish it last night? That makes sense. Holy fuck! What the fuck is that? Yeah, the doors are open here, but I mean that that could just be him walking through here too. Yeah, these weren't used. Come on, baby. Oh shit! Oh no! Did you find him? I can hear. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> he fainted. Me out. I heard him coming. I thought he was. Oh, a, do a 24 hour stream. Where is the other part of this the fucking axe? I'm gonna lose my shit. Another feather. Another of those black feathers. I wonder which creature this belongs to. There's something off about it. Uh, yeah, agreed. Wait, I don't open this? Get out of the way. Oh, fuck. Shitty. <sighs> I fucking knew it. Yeah, don't. <sighs> oh, you fucker. I knew it was coming. Okay. I'm gonna go get the other cards. There's a hat, too. Where's the fucking hat? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit! The immediate clench that happened just now? Yeah. That blurb sounded like someone fapping. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. All right, we're almost at 11. Can I get a ninth? <gasps> I'm convinced that piece. Hey, Jug, did I ever tell you about the time my sister? Jug, you're not gonna believe this. 
My sister, she, this is totally wild. My sister, she done, you aren't prepared to hear Not it. Not your sister, sister too, Wheeler. She done said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over what? and over and expecting different results. Fuck you guys. Holy shit. Can flash bang your ass. Damn it, ship. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, I got sniped. Oh. Luke is just a little bored. <laughs> oh. Alright. I think I've got one more run left in me. And while we're loading up, if you haven't already. All right, I don't have anything for that yet. I can close that. I, I can, I can close, I can, thank you. There's a closed. What the fuck is that all about? Come on. What's up? How's it going? Jugtober's going good here. We're having a good time. We are up of the 400 dollar range. One token for a vending machine above there are strange religious symbols. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, it's a lock. Oh, it's like our locker. Oh, so you can. That'll work anywhere. Okay. I get it. I get it. Can't break that yet. And we got more chips. Fucking Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? Why would you do that? Oh my god. Scarecrow. I'm the laughing wind of God. Well, that's not good. <laughs> nice little Danish. Better result than what's this? It seems like the reflected image in these mirrors can change. It's better not to touch anything for now. Okay, so that's a new Um oh, you fucking shit cock Come on. I don't know who you are. Get the key out of there, that's right. Fucking shit! Oh. As you should. Oh god! Fuck off! How should I start the fire? Yep. Like a glove. It's not scary, just really interesting. I might go back and play it again. Word. Yeah, there's a uh, Papa Combo has a game that's called um, Night Watch, and it's basically this. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Welcome in. It is uh, today's the day of the dead, I believe, October 30th. It is Monday. Today was the one of the most. I don't want to say that. I don't even want to know. <laughs> Hype from Shuffle. We got we got Howard Dean shouts from Oodaloo. 
The gang's all fucking here. Hope you're all doing fucking swell. Um, today was an interesting Monday for me. Uh, work went fine. And then um, I got some work. To, I, uh, I talked to Bert earlier today, too. Good point. Good point. So, yeah. Um, I uh, So it appears we're going to be extending the... Um, uh, the Indieverse uh, game jam that itch, uh, on itch.io, where the CEOs of Screams, um, if you don't know who we are, check out that Twitch page. I dare you. Um, so we're judging a bunch of indie games that got submitted. 22 made the cut. There's 22 uh, indie horror games to play that we're all going to be judging based on different criteria. Um, they wanted to have all the vo like all the scoring done by end of, end of day today, and it just like there were some games that didn't have any like judge sheets filled out yet. Um, so I think it got pushed another week, which is great. But uh, I spent some time today working on one uh, or playing one. And it was a visual horror. I'm sorry, <laughs> visual novel. Lots of puzzles. It's almost like an escape room, but you're in an, uh, in, in an elevator. But it wasn't very horror-esque. More so like mystery, maybe some thriller, but... That's as far as it got. I ended up getting the bad ending and I was pissed, but <laughs> it is what it is. I need to call his dad. I have a toothache. Ache? Yeah. Devil in an Elevator? I've seen that movie. It wasn't that. Uh, it was more so of a ghost. Um, but it was okay. It was, a, it was a fun game. It was, for what it was, they did very good. It just, to me, it wasn't as scary as I would want a horror game to be. Um, which is fine. You know? That's why we have a bunch of people playing them and doing their own judgments on them and filling out the sheets. Um, so I'm going to be playing a lot of them offline. Um, I'll probably make a thread or something or whatever in Discord just to be like, hey, if anyone's interested in playing these games, here's all of them. There's 22 of them. Uh, they're all free or name your... An anonymous donation and a very specific number of $32.28. Well, that's interesting. That probably brings us to a number I'm thinking of. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Are we going to do this again today? $1,269.69. Double nice. <laughs> God. Thank you, anonymous donor. <laughs> This like last last stream on Saturday, someone there was two anonymous donors going back and forth. One was trying to get to a sixty nine cent. The other person was trying to get off of the sixty nine cent. And uh, oh god, just <laughs> now we got two sixty nines. Fantastic! Thank you, anonymous donator. Sometimes the horror is the thoughts we take to bed with us at night. I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> Anyways, cheers to you all for being here. Uh, cheers to the, the anonymous donor and all the donors and anyone that shared out the, the links, whether it's for the stream, whether it's for um, the uh, actual donation link in Tiltify, whatever it happens to be. If you're spreading the word, that's the most important thing. Um, and then if there's people that are able to give, uh, it's every last, well, I'd say penny, but you can't fucking donate less than a dollar through Teltify. So we'll just say every dollar that goes towards it um, through Teltify or any penny through your bits and subs. All of that. Even the ad revenue. The shitty fucking ads that I can't turn off. Otherwise, they'll just do pre-rolls. Um, all of that money just... <sighs> Pushed right out the door, right to Teltify. I don't want to deal with it. Penny for your bits, Papa. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, cheers to you all. Thank you all for being here. Oh, and you know what? Oh, that was a juicy one. Cheers to three years. I remember my first stream ever. It was during the day, October 30th, 2020. And I played Scrutinize. We're going to be playing it again tonight. Um, I played it for like... I want to say it was less than four hours, but the VOD exists. It's one of the few early VODs that exists, and it's not good. And I think my first jump scare was somebody following me, and the follow noise scared the shit out of me. Tree was there, he'll tell you. Congrats, my three years is really awesome to keep it going. Yeah, I, honestly, I didn't think I'd make it three months. I was just having fun with it and playing fucking Phasmo with you and Bird. 
Oh, and Mallory, too. So, yeah, cheers to everybody, new and old, across all three years and almost all three Jugtobers. It's almost over, but cheers. Uh, all right. I couldn't even avoid keyboard cat for one nice moment. <laughs> Unbelievable. Comedy is timing. That's true. Oh. <sighs> Anywho, I have a feeling that it's going to fuck up the... I, I thought it was supposed to do, like, these little, like, birthday hat things for you guys for the um, the stream anniversary. Um, but I have a feeling it probably moved it to my... Um, or maybe I moved it. Maybe it's considering my stream reverse, but they're doing it on, like, the... Uh, When I got monetized, I think that's the date they probably used, but anyways, or maybe they'll just do it tomorrow for Halloween. That wouldn't be bad either. Uh, regardless, uh, I wanted to go over quickly the schedule this week. It is, a, it is a, it is a fucking interesting approach to schedule for this week. Um, and I apologize for all the <laughs> details and words on this. I wanted to try to make it as... Minimum is po uh, minimal as possible, I should say. So, um, we're here on Monday. It's uh, not 9 p.m., it's 9.30. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we are doing the scrutinized stream. This was, I believe it was the first donation. Excuse me. Uh, the first donation miles from $100 to get the scrutinized stream. Excuse me. And I figured, you know what? We got done so early, we might as well like book it out for this month. And I figured, what better time than on the actual stream anniversary when I played this game for the first time? Uh, so then tomorrow, Tuesday, Halloween, be around nine o'clock. Um, we're gonna be playing Devour, uh, which is, I mean, you guys have seen me play Devour. That game is fucking terrifying. Um, I'm gonna be playing with Noxler, potentially other Channel Thirteen people. Um, there was already a full group that's playing and um, like during the day. And then I guess that like a bunch of the Chody jabronis uh, are playing in another group. And, uh, but me and Nox were talking about like, yeah, we got to definitely get to play in the same group. So um, we'll see what happens. But uh, so Noxler will be on stream with us tomorrow night and I will be in the black phone uh, costume. So this, if you ever seen the movie, the black phone, uh, Ethan Hawke, he plays a character that's named the grabber. And uh, he's pictured right there, actually. Uh, but I will be in costume for that tomorrow. And then uh, Wednesday, we're off. Um, and then Thursday, I'm back with a regular Thursday stream. And uh, But we're doing something special uh, at 9 p.m. on Thursday. We're going to start with Don't Scream. It's a brand new indie horror game that came out. It's an early access. They're making a lot of updates to it. Like, the past couple days, it's been rifling them out. Um, and I'm glad that's side major day, Oodaloo. <laughs> so this game, you have to calibrate your microphone and all it is, is basically you have to get through, I think it's 16 minutes. It's a 16 minute, like, um, body camera footage and you have to, um, keep walking for it to progress. Otherwise it just sits. Uh, but like the title says, don't scream. If you scream, you have to restart. So, a nice little fun uh, competition we're having internally to Channel 13. A little bit of steam money on the line. Uh, we are all going to be trying to get it done as quickly as possible. From the minute we hit go until we get to the end credits. Regardless of how many restarts in the middle in terms of the restarts of the game, there's that one timer that's just going to keep on going. And whoever gets it done the quickest gets the prize. So that'll be fun. I don't expect it to take up a ton of our time on stream. So we're gonna be playing uh, Those Left Behind afterwards. Those Left Behind is a game I got a key for from Woovit. Um, I believe it is a zombie shooter, if I recall. I, it's, I haven't looked at it in a while, uh, but I was looking forward to playing it and it's just 
hasn't happened yet. I was going to try to play it after on Totus, but uh, we couldn't get to it, so I had to push it off a, a couple more streams. But uh, we'll be doing that on Thursday as well. Um, I don't know how long it is. I should probably look. <laughs> but uh, if we run out of time, um, it is what it is. Maybe we'll pick it up again. Or if we have plenty of time left, maybe we'll jump into something else afterwards. Uh, last but not least, so you may have noticed there's no Saturday stream. I'm going to be busy on Saturday night. So I'll not be having a stream. That's why I am having a stream on two, Monday and Tuesday and Thursday. Um, I mean, as if I wasn't going to stream on Tuesday anyways. Let's be honest. It's Halloween. I kind of have to. Uh, but still, I feel like it may have shorted you guys out on a Saturday stream. So I'm actually off on Friday uh, ahead of my vacation next week. And I figured that one Friday day stream we had was so successful in a good time. Granted, I, think, I don't think I'm going to end up going nine hours on it. Um, we're going to start at 11 a.m. Eastern. And the only thing I'm going to be starting with... Um, well, I, oh, well, I should say the only thing I have for schedule for games so things could change is Buried. And this game just came out today. I haven't heard too much about it yet couple of good like you know really quick hey this game was really good um but this game is made by Authogen the same developer behind Confab or Confabulation and Confabulation Homestead uh for those that watched me play the first Confabulation and watched me have a fucking panic attack because that game was so fucking terrifying yeah this one is you're basically buried alive and all you have is a lighter so that's going to be fun <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger. Home. Oh my! Good Burger. Can, Can I take, take your order? order? Yo, Endeavor, what's up, man? How are things going? <clears throat> Thank you for the biddies, by the way. What the fuck? I keep like having like one or two mush, like mustache hairs. I almost said mushroom hairs, <laughs> like tickling my upper lip. Thank God. I'm getting all trimmed up on Wednesday. Jesus. Not too bad. Trying to get done some last minute editing. Oh, yeah. I know them feels. Um, so Friday, not only are we doing Buried, but we are also, oh, excuse me, I'm going to also have to deal with the, or which uh, reportedly tasty, but I don't know, the 2X spicy uh, ramen. And I had to buy a six pack of it because it was the it was literally it was cheaper to get a six pack like per unit than it was getting a singular one. And I said, well, if I like them, I can eat them. If I don't like them, I can ruin someone else's day that I know. <laughs> uh but yeah. So that's gonna be Friday, at least it's from the initial start of things is um you know, we be starting off 11 a.m. It's going to be around. It's close to lunchtime for me. So we're starting the stream off of me just eating the lunch of that ramen. It's going to be fucking nasty. Um, and then we are going to, uh, yeah, we're going to play Buried. And whatever time we have left, um, I'm going to try to stream for like four to five hours. So a usual time, maybe a little bit over time. Um, and yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll have a good day of it, I think. If you're able to join, definitely join along. Uh, and then the only other piece of news I have, obviously with Jugtober, um, we are wrapping it up on time this year. Uh, I mean, unless a disaster strikes tomorrow. Uh, we've been able to stream is not, a, I, I stick to schedule this time. And I only, I've only added technically three out of schedule streams in terms of like extras. And um, I've done more in the past, but I really wanted to go through it with the schedule that I've been doing this year so far with uh, three days a week. And it's been really good. And the days I've got the extra streams out of, I'm really glad I did those streams. Uh, at least two of them so far. We'll see how the third one goes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we will... Um, when I conclude stream tomorrow night, it's going to be around, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning, somewhere in that time frame. However, I'm going to leave the donation link open um, until I wake up the next morning and I'll add in all the subs and bits, money, finalize it. And we'll close that shit down. And then uh, I'll make a big announcement on it to tell you how, what the grand total was. And um, yeah, it's it's been awesome. It's been another fucking crazy 
year around the sun. It's been another crazy uh, month of Jugtober, and uh, yeah, I gotta. I want to do. I'm gonna have trouble because I want to make sure next year is better than this year. Because that's like the main goal is I want to make it more exciting every year. But then, what the fuck do I do for a fifth year if I get there? Like. That's wild. Anyways, these are bridges I'm not going to be crossing for a while, and I'm just being anxious about it, I guess. Hello there. Karma. Hello. How are you, my friend? Hello there to you. <clears throat> so, um, went over the schedule, went over Jugtober, went over specifically Friday. Um, and I've already mentioned to most of you, if you haven't heard, I'm going to be in, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana next week. I'm leaving Monday morning. I'm coming back Friday, um, early evening, which is nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going to stream on that Saturday, even though I will be back and I'm probably going to be home. Um, I think I just want to take that weekend and just kind of get some time in to get other stuff done. Um, and then I can concentrate on... Uh, my week coming back, obviously, the next week. Good, thanks. How are you this fine day? I'm doing pretty good. Not too bad. Thank you for asking. Probably be tired. Yeah, good possibility, Monster Mom. How have you been? Hope things have been well. Hope you're, I hope you're all having a great Halloween season and you're going to have some good plans tomorrow um, outside of working, obviously. Uh... And like, I hope you guys got to get to watch some new and some old and some classic horror movies, whatever you do to celebrate. Um, I made a whole schedule of how I was going to show Amanda a different horror movie every night and <laughs> it went to shit quick. <laughs> it's already Halloween here for me. That is true. This is very true. Typo negative season. Fuck yeah. Uh, and how you doing, Mon RTO? Oh, my God, that was a good fucking stretch. Congrats on three years. You deserve it all. Please tell my good chat about the new game. Which game? There's a, there's a couple games we, we mentioned. Do you mean scrutinized? So I'm assuming. He has been on the edge of his seat. My edge of my seat here. Come on, Nox. You know the game? Is it the one that you just lost? Ha! Huh? Got him! But yeah. Um... I don't think I have any other things that for news or press worthy. So, uh... Time to go get, like, jump scared by how loud this fucking... <laughs> Got he! Thanks, Shuffle. <laughs> okay, let's do it, shall we? <laughs> Thanks, Knox. Congrats on three years. Thanks, Wheel. I appreciate you, dude. I hope you are doing well. Oh, yeah, I did not miss this theme song. Holy shit. Oh god. It's so loud. And I turned it down too. Playing Spider-Man 2 and watching the World Series. Nice. Um So yeah, if anyone dares break the 69.69 total raised, um that's like what, $30 and change until we get to the $1300 Welcome to the Game 2 stream. Which is the same developer that did this game. Have I played Outlast Trials since the update? I have. I played, um... I think it was Thursday of last week I played. Yeah, that's when they released it. Um, I played a bit. Um, mostly the Halloween, like, limited time program. And then, um, I think I played the first level of the new program. So heck is <laughs> it is ruckus, that's for sure. 
All right, so for those of you that don't know the premise of this game, because I don't really want to watch the intro, um, we, our character, uh, she lives by herself. Her, it was either her cousin or her sister, I can't recall, was a police detective and was tracking down a serial killer, um, who I'm pretty sure is Tanner, who you're looking at right now. Uh, so, um... We are dedicated to, you know, resolving crimes and trying to prevent them even in some occasions. Um, God, this song is just so fucking loud. I'm sorry. Okay, I feel like I'm screaming at you guys. I'm sorry. Yep, that's a tanner. Do I, I'm going to turn the volume back up so we can actually fucking hear it in a minute. That chorus one was intense the first time I did it. Yeah. God, this hand is so meaty. Yes. So, yes, it is. <laughs> So, we have made an online, like, neighborhood watch type of uh, submission system where people that see strange things will report it. We get those reports in every night. We work overnight, and we go through the reports, and we gather information and evidence based on, like, um, the DMV, the uh, suspicious person's cell phone, um, their bank accounts, their social media. Like, we are doing a deep dive on this person. And trying to find this evidence that makes sense to this um this person that submitted the report like what their claim is if it's a reasonable claim and has evidence we send it to the police via uh, an e-scanner if it's not worth it because there's really no evidence or it's a complete like uh miscommunication we throw it through the virtual uh, virtual shredder done um there's a quota that needs to be met every night um and then there's also a secondary quota, like a threshold. When you reach that, the night ends automatically. They call it early bed or uh, early sleep or something like that. Um, we'll get some tokens along, like little Bitcoin tokens along the way to spend to get some power-ups, which are pretty cool. But you're probably asking, why are we looking at this dude if that's not us? So that's Tanner. There's also another guy who's... Uh, He's this Russian, this bald Russian that just wears like a black t-shirt, black pants and boots and gloves. And he's here to kidnap us while Tanner here is here to kill us. Um, they are stalking us. They know where we live and I'm going to try to get inside the house. And while I'm doing all this detective work, this, uh, you know, hunting people down, sleuthing, if you will. Um, we also have to keep an ear out for these little bastards. Because what's different about this game, uh, well, I should say it's it's very much like Dead Signal, where the normal difficulty of this game is a permadeath mode. Not great. <laughs> and a uh, casual mode of this game, if you beat it, it's, um, it's like a super tacky ending. It's like, congrats, you beat casual mode, you loser. It's like, it's just making fun of you. Um... But yeah, I think we have to survive seven nights of doing this before the game ends. Um, I've never act very meaty hand, my word. Yeah, I've never actually beaten the game before. I played casual for a bit. Um, like, I think one day off stream and I was just like, eh, I know how it ends. Why am I bothering? Um, there's also detective mode where there's no jump scares at all. Um, you can also disable jump scares in the options as well, which we're not going to do, obviously. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, detective mode is there's no jump scares or anything like that. You're just working the detective side of the job, too. So you don't have to play this game and get your shit rocked every time you play it. Anyways. 69. Nice. Okay. New game. And then there's Nightmare, which is worse. Oh, it's 10 nights total. Sorry. And there is permadeath. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> so yeah, as they're saying, do you like jump scares? Turn them off the options menu. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Oh, wow. Okay, to the right is locked. I'll remember. That light was already on. Interesting. Gonna lock all of them. And this door is where the router is. 
right there. I have to do is click it to restart it. Dude. I'm not used to the way this game is calibrated, I guess. Um, and then here is where the uh, the circuit is. I almost said internet. That's where the fucking router is. That was just wide open. Let's lock that. So we may lose power as well. Based on me having to flash the security lights outside. If I flash them for too long, it blows the circuit. Ooh. Has anybody in chat ever played this game before? Um, I would say minus Nox. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else... Oh, yeah. I always open this door because then if it closes, I know someone's in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. No, I don't. I know what I'm doing. All right. We got the report desk over here. We're gonna do the uh, first thing is the uh, DMV DB. Then we do the SIM card for the phone. Then we do the police record. Oh wait, I think it's the root kit I need first. Yes, root kit first to be able to uh, access the SIM. We got police records. We're gonna have a debit card reader and then the social spy. We'll actually put like here, there. Okay, first one out. <clears throat> Suspects unknown date June 6 4 18 p.m. Male 50 to 60. Hi, I must be entering this in. Age he is between 50 and 60 years old. His height is about six feet. Weight 145 pounds. So we'll say 120 hello. 125 to 150. Gender is male. Air color gray, eye color also gray. Let's do some searching. No results found. That's not a good start. Um, let's do five foot six to six foot six. Uh, am I missing something here? Fifty to sixty. Within six, within six feet. You know what? Let's just do this and then do that with nothing. Do that, nothing. Aha! Age 59, 5'11", 162 pounds. All right, that's well as a, huh, I guess the weight was just off. That was the problem. There he is. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just ruined so much time. We're not going to live very long. <laughs> I actually do need to do this one first. This is how I get the IMEI. I know. Sorry. Brandon Williams. Is it, There it is right there. We copy it. We paste it. Already. Oh, thank you, Shannon, for the bits. Welcome in. Hello, demon. Oh, shit. Fuck. I fucked up. I forgot I'm supposed to be smart. Oh, shit. All right, well, let's see. We got all this shit here. He's got a police report. <clears throat> A couple of jog never seen in this area before. A buy from the ice cream truck, the frequents this area. They chatted up with the driver for a minute and got some cups of ice cream, but it also looked like the driver slipped them both a small piece of paper. So it looked like two joggers both went in opposite directions of the sidewalk. I found this a little odd. I'd never been, bought anything from the driver. He always smiles and waves at me as he drives by. But I've never seen him do that before, let alone two people jogging split up after buying ice cream. I think the driver lives nearby. We have a police report. Officer on duty cop Brandon doing 91 on the freeway. Mo! We fuck up every day. <laughs> 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 
This is the game with the dude with the syringe that like pops up on camera like a toddler in a bouncy castle. Yes, Mo, it's exactly what that is. <laughs> oh God, welcome in, Mo. Hope you're doing well. So Shannon, uh, this game's called, uh, I almost said it's the wrong fucking game, Scrutinized. And what we're doing is we're basically doing like a um, neighborhood watch detective work, but there's also a serial killer and a kidnapper that are stalking us currently. Um, it's, it's something. <laughs> Demon is shook. That's why he was in a hurry, he said he could not say he was running up a ticket for $150. So that's, that's sketch. Here's the gas. Okay, he got an ice cream cone and gas. Uh, haircut and shave. Casual walking shoes and cotton t-shirt. Uh, ton of food. And food. All right, so none of his, none of that's the problem. Every day after I finish my route and park the truck, I always treat myself to three scoops back at the shop. In tradition, blah, 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 blah. We'll start at lunch, but next will be retiring these vans. That's for the best because Colts is in a larger model, so it'll be double number of flavors you can carry. Larger icebox, better models, and a logo on the side, too. That's what they call in the business the whole shebang. Uh, but, <laughs> fuck. It's all successful. Yeah, it's all successful. Watch my brother chop up some meat. His real pro could be messy at times, but the end product is out of this world. You know, I really decided to pursue for a career. My younger brother's a butcher, and I ended up selling ice cream. While we're doing different things, we were just two sides of the same coin, sweet and savory. That's creepy. Got it. Fry, it was you. Son of a bitch. I'm going to catch you on chat really quick. Uh, just got in, yeah. Uh, mood. Got some crummy new statements. Yeah, it's a bummer. Fuck, Resident Evil Village just launched for iPhone and iPad. Nice. Um, I need to check the cameras really quick. Was it? Oh yeah. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. I don't see him anywhere. Let's go do a quick, uh... How the fuck do I get out of the seat? Oh, it's right click, right. Oh, shit. So when the lights go out, that usually gives the guy an opportunity, uh, the kidnapper an opportunity to start dicking around with the... the shit. Alright, good. He hasn't dicked around with it. Same with this. Come on! It's still locked. So yeah, if we if he's there, we have to actually try. To... Damn it! The internet went out again. Fuck. I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. Okay. That's fine. Boop. Worst thing, you can't move while it's doing this. Oh, okay. Internet's back up and running. All right, we're looking good. All right. <clears throat> so, search history, ice cream hidden, hidden compartments, large ice boxes, hiring ice cream truck drivers, large vans with large fuel capacity, exotic ice cream flavors, how cold you need an ice cream box to be to keep meat from thawing how to get the popsicle theme out of my head how to move very large packs of meat yeah it's fine it's his brother who does that sh i mean that's odd the fuck is that it's a little sketch all right let's check his text combos with jeff Big new ice cream flavors black licorice ice cream with hot fudge that's disgusting i want to always be giving you the name of the new flavor Good. Oh, that's weird. Kyle. Oh, Kyle, I want to congratulate you again on being excited for this position. I apologize for the lengthy background check. More jobs like you and I personally happy to have you on board. If you're unclear on your duties or any other question, now's the time to ask. Thanks. I'm ecstatic about all this. I do have some questions, though. Can you walk the process again? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Drive right. Be friendly. Put a smile on other customers. Transfer meat to certain drop points at specific times. 
When you get these travel points, take the goods off your hands. We'll make sure the meat arrives in time before it thaws. If it does not meet the standards of the client, it's transferred back to the warehouse. It'll be chopped and sold for medical applications. Do you follow so far? Parts of the meat are it's sold to the buyers. The meat thaws out. The initial producer. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, uh, is the meat acquiring the names of the password? What? Blue octane with extra sprinkles. All right, understood. That's someone at a fucking window. I promise you, it's someone at a fucking window. fucking weird I definitely heard the noise like someone was at the window this is the game you played last year yes I've uh I play this almost every Jugtober because it's the first game I ever streamed internet clairvoyance <laughs> well it's just supposed to be at the uh the thing here all right Mike hey you're having a lot of meat for me to cut up brother more than me and the team can handle maybe slow it down a bit which is so we don't have to be wasteful sorry but it's these damn trucks from the process of in the fleet It'll take a little more time, but it should slow things down on your end. Okay, thanks. I don't really see anything that's... I'm, I'm not... I'm just going to shred it. I'm not feeling that one. I was wrong. Something about it was wrong. I don't know how, but it was wrong. <sighs> hey, Jeff. Welcome in. <clears throat> Fuck. First report back, and I got it wrong. <laughs> Joy Lulin. All right, she is female. She has blonde hair and blue eyes, between 25 and 35 years old. Her height is unknown. Her weight is unknown. Let's go take a look, see if we can find her. I don't see a Joy Lulin anywhere. Uh, 25 to 35, female, blonde, oh, gray, I'm an idiot. Thanks, guys, for catching my ass on that one. There she is. All right. We got her. <laughs> Riz! <laughs> Dropping a lurk, thanks, friend. I was up my roof trying to find a leak from the storm last month. I saw joining her back over the pool. She's hanging out in her bathing suit with a young guy. Like he was a college student, even a little older. They were smoking something together. I didn't get a good look at what it could have been. Now the young kids these days do those dabs in the glass pipes or whatever. Joy never pegged me for a low life. Has she pegged anybody? I mean, it's not really my business, but it's not really yours either. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I fucking misspelt it. <laughs> Fuck. No police record, at least. Joy L U E L L E N. She don't have a. F she has to have a phone. Okay, thanks. <sighs> God damn it. Okay. You pegged a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> so we're in the apartment, but everything will be done tonight. Let's go, Riz. I feel like you'll have a visitor soon, Jug. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. It's going to happen at some point. Oh, I keep forgetting it's not A and D at this window. Go check all the lights. Working real slow tonight. I'll tell you what, I don't need to check that. Alright, that's fine. Alright, cool. <clears throat> 
Uh, so we've got her. Oh, I already have it right here. Search history. Cleaning up blood stains. How to serial killer dump bodies. Used to take care of dogs. Cavalier King Charles Spangle puppy coat. Cost. Animal shelters near me. Dollar club. Uh, I can't read what the fuck that says. Some tablets and some orange soda. Pharmacy. She got. No idea. Fill and go gas. Uh, some snacks and cigars. Okay. Not really finding anything there. And then like, I don't see anything that's totally. I mean, how did? I guess it's interesting. Cleaning up blood stains. <sighs> Like, I can't tell what's sketchy here because I can't fucking read it. You know? Shit, I... Yeah. Alright, fuck it. Oh my god! It's me, I'm sketchy. So, wasn't me this time? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God damn it, I am rusty at this game. A male. Hair color is brown. Blue eyes. Okay. Uh, we don't know his name. Between 25 and 35. Okay. He's 6'6. Six, six. He's 240 pounds. It might be James Thomas. Right bike past a guy's house a little after dinner time, just when the sun was going down. I was trash and I saw something red that was dribbling out at the bottom. There were stains on the hem of his shirt, too. He wasn't acting suspiciously, though. The guy was even laughing into his phone. Hey, look, it's this dude. What weird Linux distribution is this? <laughs> this is the exact height. I know that's not legit. This is a dating sim? No. <laughs> no, it is not. I think it's James Thomas. He matched most of that. So we'll find out real quick if he's related to any of this malarkey with the trash bag. No police record. Dude, I... Nothing on social media. This sucks. I can't fucking read it. Okay. Ten and scissors, vacuum seal unit, kitchen knife, deep freezer, ten pounds of salt, some other type of knife. I don't know why this is bugged. Pets world. He got it's a pet fence. Mountain peak. <laughs> high fat kibble dog food. Who's the dickhead? Oh. Go fucking figure. Hello, father. Let's get into this dude's phone. Got it. Search history. Can an, 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 uh, anatomy. How to dress animal. Best knife to cut bone. Local pet shelters. Animal sanctuary license. Cleaning dog bites. Homeless shelters near me. I hit the wrong fucking button. Uh, I'm not buying it. This guy was just clearly cutting up like a deer or something. Oh my god! How do I suck this bad at this game today? Ay ay ay. Okay, well, time to do the thing. <laughs> Not that thing. Thank you for the bits, though. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Soma. <laughs> Shit. He unlocked this? Nope, it was locked. All right, so he didn't really do much. They're playing very nice with me. Excuse you. It was fucked. It's the first nights so they're being nice to me. That's what it is. All right, Margaret Ridley. She's female, 35 to 45. Five feet tall. Uh, weight is unknown. She has red hair. Oops, red hair. 
eye color is unknown. Let's find Margaret Ridley. There she is. <clears throat> okay. 3-3 three, three hat trick. <laughs> the thank you, Ginger, for the lurk. And thank you. Who just did that? Since it was it another anonymous one? Let me see. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> An anonymous donator has donated five dollars and one cent just to get us to one thousand two hundred seventy four dollars and seventy cents. The sixty nine sixty nine total has been broken. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for the donation. Whoever you anonymous person is. OK, so we got to get her name in here. Margaret Ridley. Copy, boom, 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 no police record. Got some debit card information and, oh, one post. The little girl goes off on her own soon and I hate it. At least she still needs mama to help her decorate and DIY her first apartment. Okay. Uh, pencils, something else that I can't read. Rubber mallet. Okay. Let's get her phone. God damn it, Chef. It was me this time. Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go again, everybody. <laughs> Rip the 69. Well, good news. It's back to 69. We got a $1.99 anonymous donation. We now have $1,276.69. Nice. Oh, we just lost internet? Fuck. It's all closed circuit, so I can still look through these. No internet needed here. Goddamn internet. I don't know why it goes out all the time. Yo, N3 Fox 1. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the fall. Welcome to the mob. Happy to have you. <laughs> what told you at again? $1,276.69. Top left hand corner, it shows that I pressed the button. How dare you? Jug's future ex husband? What is this malarkey? Comment <laughs> two eyes. <laughs> Chuck's future ex husband. $25.30. Nefoxy. Okay, I'll remember that. Well, welcome in, Nefoxy. Thank you. We're, uh... Yeah, it's the sugar knock, bitch. Oh, shit. Butt Cheek's here. He's Much dropping some good, sir, fucking Jiggy. dimes. Happy three oh, my years. God. Got you on. Lurk gorgeous butt seven hearts butt <laughs> seven hearts butt seven hearts. She's in an existence, yeah. Corgo, Thanks, Bo. Appreciate corgo, you, dude. Corgo, That's a lot of corgos. <laughs> All right, so we had a twenty-five dollar and thirty cents come in from a Jug's future ex-husband. Thank you so much, my future ex-husband, for the twenty-five dollars and thirty cents. And we then have another anonymous donation, three dollars and thirty-one cents. That brings us up to a. <clears throat> excuse me. That is a total, as I refresh the page so I can see it better. Wonder who that was? No idea, Soma. <laughs> that is $1,305.30. We just broke another um, milestone. That's the $1,300 one. That means I have to now have to stream Welcome to the Game 2. That's not good. <laughs> But great. Thank you all for uh, continuing on this, this fantastic tradition of Jugtober and raising funds for Another dollar and 39 cents. I'm assuming that is the anonymous donor that likes when it ends in 69. Yep, $1,306 and 69 cents. <laughs> so yes, uh, Nefox, you joined at just the right time. Things have been pretty crazy. So today's actually my three year Twitch anniversary. And uh, every month in October, we celebrate Jugtober. Oh shit. And then Fry comes in here dropping a 75 bomb. Reward bourbon toast that you write. What should Jug toast to? Toast to WTTG too. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Christ. <sighs> All right. <sighs> you know what I never did? I never recreated the, uh, the scene where I green screened my face into a... That's way too much. I guess I'm drinking some uh, bourbon tonight. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry, Nefoxy. So I was just mentioning uh, we raise money for charity this whole month. Every penny that comes into this stream that actually comes to me and isn't taken a cut by Twitch or Blurp or Sound Alerts will go right to the Tiltify page and that's just one big lump sum they hold onto all the funds until we hit go and it sends all the funds out to uh, hope for the day they are a um <clears throat> excuse me they're a non-profit organization specializing in mental health services and focusing on uh suicide awareness and prevention um something that i hold uh, near and dear to my heart i know it's is impacted a lot of people either directly or um, through loved ones uh, themselves. So it's it's something I wanted to do to give back. And um, I wanted to make this month bigger than me and just playing video games online, you know? Uh, but yeah, if you, if you feel like it, uh, go ahead and share that Tiltify link um, on your socials and whatnot. Let people know about it. We're taking donations up until end of, uh, well, essentially November 1st. Um, and uh, if only if you're able to give, we would definitely every single dollar counts, and uh, apparently, really every single dollar counts because everyone wants to get sixty nine at the end. <laughs> oh my goodness! What the fuck? Six dot nine something fun interrupted by a period. <laughs> Three dollars and thirty one cents. What in the hell? <laughs> I think that's, are we at $1,385 now already? Holy shit. My God. Just a heads up, that means we are $15 away exactly from a free Steam game giveaway. Before we get too out of hand here, and thank God there's a pause menu in this game, uh, a bourbon toast. So this goes uh, from bag of rye or bag of fry, bag of fry, whoever you want to call her. Um, this is from her to the jug mob uh, through me and uh i'm to toast welcome to the game too is my true first it will be my true first time ever play a dollar and 69 from anonymous <laughs> and we're up to 1386 dollars and 69 cents <laughs> nice um it's it's a very difficult uh in terms of content game i'll have trigger warnings up because we have to surf through the dark web and it gets fucky so just to let you all know uh ahead of time but we will be planning that probably in november um if not definitely early december um but that's gonna be fun that's some people will say that that is reflex studio's best game um but uh yeah i've watched some gameplay of it it looks fucking terrifying so anywho to uh, Adam at Reflex Studios and put together some really fucking good horror games. Cheers. <sighs> oh. <Yeah. clears throat> and again, thank you all for, for donating and sharing and just being here. All right, and we got this working again. All is right in the world. All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, we got our search history, best brand coloring pencils, graduation e-card maker, free directions to Simon's Grove Apartments in Rocks North. Pictures, that is a uh, robotic pencil or something, oh, like a prosthetic. From Emma, do I need to be concerned about the disembodied hand on the dining table? Lol, you absolutely do not need it for drawing 201. I love you and I don't want you to move out, but at the same time, please do not forget to take that thing with you when you do. It creeps me out. Hubby, less than three. Hey, did you ever manage to get all of M's things sorted out? Uh, no, I forgot. And we've got Jill's thing tomorrow. Tell her it's going to have to wait until next week. I'll bring them up when I visit. Why can't I fucking scroll? Oh, God, there we go. Please remember to take the sheets and things with you up to see M. She wants to paint this coming week. 
doesn't have the hammer for working on her plaster. Remind her that if she uses the claw one, she'll knock holes in shit. I will, I will, I promise. I'll just have her call you about the hammer, but I promise it will help her with the painting. She's not about to do the whole place by herself. Love you. Okay. So, bring in some groceries. So, I'm just really stuffing something into her trunk. I said hello from across the street, but she must not have heard me. Looks like she was pressed for time by the speed she was moving to and from her house. She brought something that was wrapped in blankets that looked like a hand peeking out from the top of the bundle. Frantic actions of running in and out of the house and the weird items being transported were enough in my mind to report her. Okay, so we know what this is. This is definitely a shred job. This is not... Okay. I guess that might be dead on that side. If this is another bad... Oh shit, that was the last one. I was supposed to check the windows. Oh, fuck! I didn't realize it was the last one for the night and I go to bed. I didn't check any of the locks. Fuck. Thanks, Shuffle. Thank you very much, Shuffle, for letting everybody know that I died. All right, let's I try that again. And get the night started. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I think they have those doors already open. So it's easy to handle. Because everything's unlocked. What the fuck is going on this night? Okay. Make sure the light's on in here, even though it doesn't really matter. Got another window's open. Another window's open. Are we going for a complete sw uh complete nope, one window is closed. But it is unlocked, so I still have to do something. Damn. Almost. Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. No, I don't. All right, you go here. <clears throat> Rootkit. Sim. Debit. Public records. Social spy. We'll put it here this time. Okay. Emma Pearson, uh, she is female, aged 15 to 20, weight unknown, I'm sorry, height and weight are both unknown, hair color is black, eye color is brown, we are searching for Emma Pearson, there she is, excuse me, and there she goes, okay, Emma Pearson, Uh, uh, no police records, okay. Uh, three packs of ibuprofen. Eh. Three blankets, blue, six bottles of water, medium, two packs of tea, red berry. Okay. America's not only the rich and beautiful America's all of us, rich or poor, black or white, small or large, wake up people. Already knows no age, no gender, no morals, equal rights for all. No one in our country should have to live on the streets and starve when there is enough for everyone to get instead of against each other. All right, so nothing to sketch ball there. But, it's always the phones that make things interesting. Hello? Thank you. <clears throat> Blue! Welcome in, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Homeless shelters in the area, homeless support program, how to use creativity support.com. Pictures, smoking, walking, text convos, Jack. Check out together, out together again tonight. Made tea for the homeless, of course. Hope your fucking neighbor doesn't bug you again this time. She doesn't. She just doesn't understand. I get what she thinks. What we're doing is the right thing, and there are plenty of people who will thank us for it. I'll call you when I'm at your place. 
I need it's late. Where are you off to again? Please come home. Busy mom, I'll be coming home, all right. Please tell me you're not with the homeless and drug addicts again. They're not good for you. I'm going to stop talking about her like that. They need help, mom. Everyone lives in the villa like we do. They just want you for money to buy new drugs. You know how these junkies are. That's not like you. You may not care about others, but I do, and you're going to have to deal with that. My phone's turned off now. Good night. <clears throat> little punk girl from the neighborhood is driving me crazy. When well, she's not begging for money with her friends, she smokes in front of my fucking yard, leaves her butts in front of my yard. And when these weird people she hangs out with, it's no wonder that more and more kids around here are taking drugs. There we go. Got that one right. <clears throat> little stranger knocks. Ooh, damn. Getting a getting a <laughs> the the mean disappointed juggy mode face. Ugh. Okay. Next one. So we have one out of two done. One out of four total. <clears throat> Should I keep oh, you know what? Gotta be smart. In between every report, if you don't hear anything, check everything. And when you hear something, stop what you're doing and by God, figure out what the fuck it is. Looking good. I guess I'll check the bathroom on the way by too, even though it doesn't really fucking matter. <sighs> okay, next. I'm looking for David Fobbs. He is between 50 and 60 years old. He is six feet tall. His weight is unknown. He is male. Hair color is gray. Eye color is blue. David Fobbs. There he is. What up, dude? Well, I was giving my dog's evening walk. I passed by David's house. I haven't seen him in upwards of two whole weeks before I turned down the street. I saw a black man with no windows pulling to his drive. Dropped him off, then peeled out of the driveway like a bat out of hell. It was dark by that point, but I think I saw bruises all up and down his arms and legs, and he looked like he had barely enough energy to make it up the three steps to his front door. Well, that's not good. So he's not really a bad dude, but something's going on here. No police records. Got some social media of him surfing. He's at the beach. He's retiring next year. Except for Jews, the Xanax the doctor gave me has really helped me get through this so far. Here's the view. Oh, wow. So he's really scared of flying. Uh, milk, eggs, turkey, stuff. Yeah, it's all food. Nothing fucking crazy there. Last but not least, let's check this guy's phone. <clears throat> I miss you. I miss you. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Plane tickets to Hawaii. What to expect in Hawaii? Hawaii culture, Hawaiian women, best sunblock, border rentals in Honolulu. Nice. Uh, he's got a bunch of vacation pictures. Good. Text combos with sis. Safe back sound. Yep, got back from the grocery store. I guess milk goes bad after 14 days. No shit. Oh, well, I heard from our brother that you look like a semi ran you over. No one tells you how hard surfboards are when a 10 footer sends it into the back of your leg. Oh, yeah, he's fine. This dude just got beat up in the surf in Hawaii. Nice, that's a goodie. Next. Missed you too. Jug was telling me about Scrutinize and that he was playing it safe, so I decided to pop in. I've actually never heard of it before. It looks so chill so far. <laughs> it's not chill yet. It's chill when the game's over. And in between every report, check the cams. I ain't seeing no movement out there. That's what we like about it. Okay, let's go check the rooms. So we have to make sure all the lights are on and that the windows are closed and locked. And normally, I thought I saw some in the window, but that wouldn't have made sense because the light, on so that light was off but the window was locked so that's good and that's fine okay back to work 
Yeah, and all those windows are uh, closed and locked as, lo as well as those. Okay, <clears throat> we have a 20 to 25 year old male, six feet tall, 160 pounds, uh, black hair, and brown eyes. There's only one of those, and that's Ewan York. E U A N York. Oh, fuck you. No police record found. Okay. Got any social networking? He does. I apologize to all the guys today. Lamau, stay strong, boys. Best place to spend Halloween. Let me know. Another sick night at Par Parizo. Oh, it's a nightclub. And I don't know what it fucking is anymore. I think that's a bug after the after a couple of reports, it just breaks. But yeah, he got drinks. He got drinks, medical supplies. He got hydroxybutyrate. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that is. I met this guy. Never told me his name at the club last night. My friends and I decided to go get some drinks at the bar after half an hour or so of dancing. And that's when I ran into him. He was friendly to all of us, but it seemed like he got bored pretty quickly since we weren't paying him much mind. So I was interested. So I was kind of just eyeballing him the whole night, hoping to get his attention. Eventually, he found this one girl and kind of just schmoozed her all night. I was kind of hoping to get rid of her, but no dice. First, I headed out just as I did. So I watched the two turn the corner. And then all I hear was a scream coming from that direction. Of course, there was still quite a line outside the club, so it was loud. No one was paying attention, but I know what I heard. I broke off from my group to see what happened. When I got there, all I saw was a shoe one of the heels the girl was wearing the two were nowhere to be seen maybe i'm paranoid but i've heard the stories about girls appearing at nightclubs this could be one of those cases all right let's keep track of that piece of evidence just in case because that i need to remember to read these before i start doing the review <laughs> search history uber uber app clubs near me liquor store near me pictures oh it's just the girls he meets is the DJ. Oh, that's not good. That looks questionable. I just closed the fucking phone. Your package came in? Oh, and hello, Cynthia. How are you? Thanks for the uh, keyboard cat. Boss guy. So I pay to pick up girls that have taken them home, though. I'll text you the drop location, but let's say I'm interested. What now? No, they don't have trust judgment. Oh, yeah. This dude did some shit. Ugh, damn it. Anna well, again. that was interesting <laughs> timing. <laughs> that was really interesting timing that that just happened. I don't have a coffee more, so I'm doing good. Awesome. Glad to hear it. All right, and the window is locked. I'm glad you're feeling better. Ugh. Okay. Move on out. Check the doors on the way back. Good. Yep, we're golden. All right, so I fucked up. I don't know how to fucking... Oh, f I don't know how to get evidence off of that. Oh, shit. The other stuff was more... Go for it. But you know what? Let's... No, it still gave it to me. Okay. It was enough. All right. We just checked everything, so we can... Let's check cams, though. Check cams. Little fucker's probably running out there right now thinking about it. He's thinking about it. I know he is. Fucked up. I didn't fuck up. How you doing, disconnected? All right. Looking for another male. Brown hair. Hazel eyes. He is 25 to 35 years old. 5'6". 225 pounds. We got quite a fucking few people. 25 to 35. The height's 5'6. 
and weight is 225. That's five sixes. We got five. Uh, I think it's gonna be this dude. This is closer. This is much closer. I'm gonna go with Robert Jenkins. He'd be out there. I'm okay. Just okay. Well, I hope you do better than just okay soon enough, my friend. I know you've been struggling with a lot of shit. But you bold shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. He has no social networking. That's interesting. Got him. E. Or yes, top 10 tips for starting your own business golf. Oh yeah, let's read this first. Last night I was woke in the middle of the night by what sounded like a group of men talking directly outside my window. I went downstairs to get a visual of what they looked like. When I turned on the outside light, they scattered like a bunch of cockroaches. I found six white men with dark clothing on. I walked outside and found that they broke some parts of my golf cart in an attempt to steal it, I think. Starting your own business golf cart, replacement cup holder, how much to fix a golf cart, blackout side effects. Oh my God. Pictures. Oh Lord. They'd be drinking. They had a good night. Tex Convos, Darty. The guys are reckless. I fucked my neighbor's golf cart up. I'm not sure what to go from here. Okay, what should take? Blah, 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 blah. Fucked up and blacked up from the shot scene they made. I can't remember exactly what happened, but just me. It's not like the guy saw us running away. Why fuck it? Well, the thing we have going, we're trying to save a couple hundred. I'm going to go over there and talk to him tomorrow when I'm not hungover as fuck. All right. Well, let's put Darty's evidence in there. Dina. Uh, oh, you said to remind you about the gelatin shots you made. Yeah, I got them. You guys need to be careful. I made them pretty strong since the last time everyone made fun of me saying they were virgin shots. Oh, boy. We blacked out. We got sauced up. Gelatin shots. Yeah, let's give Justin's in here, too. We don't need to look at that. That's fine. This is going to get reported. This is the last one I fucked up. Oh, all right. I got it wrong. Which is weird because... Well, I know. I guess he said he was going to go talk to him the next day. Like, it wasn't a... He wasn't trying to steal it. But he definitely fucked it up. Long COVID's a bitch. Some days good, other days suck. We're here to watch stream on this Halloween Eve. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you. All right. So we're into day two. Or night two, rather. Finally, some progress. All right. I hate this hallway. God, thank you. Closing up shop. Don't want anybody getting in. Ain't nobody. Here we go. Fuck you. Okay. Got that light on. Got that light on. And almost all these windows are open and unlocked. Oh, we got one that is. Oh, it's completely locked. Nice. The one that's over the sink that no one would fucking climb through versus all the other ones that are wide open. In hell. Alright. Time to work. Up to the same spot. I fucking forgot about that. Lovely. Alright. So we've got a male who has brown hair and brown eyes. He's aged 20 to 25. Height is 5'6. Weight is 150. Let's find this kid. Alright, so we've got a uh, who's 5'6. There's these two. Weighs 150 pounds. Is 22. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Scott McPherson. Looks like a dickhead. 
That's really mean. I don't know why I just came up with that conclusion. <laughs> Fuck, no police record. Oh, I can't even fucking read that. Dude, that sucks. I don't like that at all. Like some people just deserve to die, if you know what I mean. Anyone want some good shit? Hit me up. I have a ton right now. First, let's go on the side of the street today. Jesus. Yeah, this guy's a dick. He could get it. He's gonna get the fucking chair in a minute. Holy fuck. That sounds like a dickhead. <clears throat> Okay, just phone over here. We're good to go. All right. So a young man in a tree spying on a neighbor. Not sure how long he was up there. I'm actually surprised I even saw him. He was in dark clothes, like a, like he dressed for the part. I yelled at him before he dropped from the tree and ran down the block around the corner. I've seen the kid around before. I don't know his name, but I remember catching him shooting one of those airsoft guns in the street. I showed him that there were kids around here that could get hurt by ricochet. He was very polite, apologized to me, and I haven't seen him doing that since. However, as he dropped down from the tree, I could see the butt of a gun peeking out of the back of his waistband. I hope it was that stupid airsoft gun. I couldn't be sure, though. You really do make those things look real nice. You see the orange tip on the front of the barrel. Blowback pistol jamming constantly. How to make a silencer. Fucking ES feds. Fucking fuck him up. My operation, Nennis. I came so fucking high. Oh, God. Yeah, we saw that picture. Uh, that's odd. Charlie? Heard you have some good shit. I'm busting my balls. Like, can you bring like half a kale? Eh, fucking hell, it's not even 10 yet, but it'd be some good money. Hello, do you have the drugs? What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean, man? I asked for the good shit. You're a fucking fed, aren't you? Look, <laughs> cunt. You're a dead motherfucker. What? Clean up. Shit, dog. I was high as a kite. Now I have a kid next to me dead, and I need to clean up immediately. I'll send you my address. I'll pay five grand. Please, it's urgent. Oh, wait, are you clean? Fuck, there's so much blood everywhere. I remember stabbing him. Well. Ba 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 da ba da ba da ba ba da da da. That was wrong. How the fuck was that wrong? That dude was a scumbag, and he legit said he killed somebody. How is that fax not a good fax? Are you gotta be fucking kidding me? All right, well, reports in. Time to go take a look -see. See if any of our lights are missing. And it sucks. I forgot that the. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> I just killed someone. Nah, not sus enough. <laughs> it was on his fucking cell phone, and then it was him. You know, it was, it's, he was having the issue with the guys. Said he was dead. He was dead. Fucking Christ! Brown and green. Fifty to sixty. I heard that. I'm dead. Why doesn't that work? I flashed the shit out of him. Thanks, Shuffle. I'm so confused. <clears throat> Messy. I should get to my computer. Messy comma is invading with love and chaos. Hell yeah! Welcome in, friend. You you were playing uh, Dead by Daylight. Nice. Oh, the Lucy Saint Rhodes demo. Oh. What's up, favorite spoon? <clears throat> Did you scare me? No, not quite. <laughs> but thank, thank you for it anyways. Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. Hope you're all doing fantastic. Um, 
messy hope you had a good stream appreciate you for the raid uh welcome everybody in i'm excuse me very burpy uh i'm the juggernaut you can call me jug it is we are in the midst of jugtober it's the last two streams if you are interested please share this information or if you are only if you're able to and, and willing uh we are collecting donations for hope for the day it's a nonprofit organization that specializes in mental health and uh suicide awareness and prevention uh something that i hold near and dear to my heart and many others do as well uh, we have raised, as of now, over $1,300 this month. Uh, that adds in with the $1,400 we raised uh, two years ago, as well as the $2,000 we raised last year. Um, absolutely phenomenal work from this community. Uh, over $4,700 now total raised for Hope for the Day. So uh, we have all of tonight, and we also have our stream tomorrow. Um, so if you're interested, please, please help us out. Otherwise, uh, the only thing I, I would also ask is if you enjoy the content here while you're here, uh, we have a follow button. It is free. You've probably seen it before. If you've ever seen a Twitch <laughs> channel before, which I'm sure you have, um, we're trying to get to a thousand followers. We are damn close. We're at 979 followers, 21 away. Just open butt cheek stream. What a costume. I, he told me what it was. <laughs> it's, it's like a green screen with like eyeballs hanging on it or a, a green outfit so it's like all you see is his face and all these floating eyeballs <laughs> amazing you gotta see it okay i suppose i could go open it up <laughs> tell you what i'll even i'll even show all of you too so you don't have to go anywhere <laughs> god all right, where is he? We got so many people on tonight. Did I miss it? Oh, he's right here. Oh, what in the hell is that? I'm gonna pin that for later. What the fuck? Ooh, Allie's calling me a bestie? Oh. Wow. Allie's awesome. But yeah, I think those are ping pong balls. He like drew the eyes on them, or someone did. I like how the green screen, is, it worked, but he could still see his chair. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know he was on. Right, that's that's fucking funny. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Computer and get the night started. Yeah, all right. Let's get started again. We've been killed by Tanner once. We've been abducted by the kidnapper once. This is where this is the run right here. Now this is the run where I actually beat this game. We fucking fly through it all ten nights, and uh, it's golden. Ain't gonna have any problems. Exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, I can do it. That's right. I can. I believe in myself. But for some reason, I just can't flash Tanner in this game. Like, if you hold it, it will short the circuit, and you'll just die anyways. And if you tap it, it's supposed to scare him away. And I was given a good solid taps. Is this normal mode? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. You have to do shit. <laughs> Pearl Baker. Female. Blonde, blue eyes, aged 15 to 20, height is 5'6", weight is unknown, Pearl Baker. There you are. Oops. 
Okay. A way to get the morning paper saw a young woman passed out in Pearl's yard. She didn't have any shoes on. Her pants were unbuttoned. It looked like she'd been through hell. Feet all red and swollen. Pearl never struck me as the parting types. So went on inside my house to get my phone. Maybe call the cops. When I went back outside, I saw Pearl drag the woman through her front door. There's saw Pearl hosing down the grassy spot where I'd seen that girl. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, that's, that's suspect to say the least. But... What do you mean invalid search name? Or oh, did I put it in the root kit like a dummy? I probably did. All right, maybe these will hold on this time. Pickers, double line backpack, water bottles, flares, and USB charger. Energy bar, jerky, and trail mix. There's a hacked Pearl's phone. Some, some of you guys probably don't know about Pearl's that she farts in her sleep all the time, stinky. I went to case more, didn't forget my mask, filter either, lots of mold. It's so long as I've gotten dressed up and gone out. All right, so nothing too crazy in those areas. No police uh, record. Let's check that phone, though. How long killed before it's shorts? It's not long. Search history, private property map, long lasting bug spray, abandoned buildings, legal urban exploration, pictures. That's exactly what I was anticipating to see from the other social media post she made. I'd say Pearl. No, PCAB. The fuck that is. Yeah, nothing crazy there. <clears throat> Text call was Jason McCuddy. Those pictures you post, you really got out there and hang around and made a bonus for the pleasure of it? No, I just thought it'd be cool if people thought I did that. I'm kidding. Duh, yeah, I took them. Why? Guess I never thought someone so pretty could also be so cool. Ugh. I'm not seeing anything that's suspect here like stuff that she could go like out in the wilderness with search history nothing's bad here nothing on social media says anything bad either like I don't feel like any of this really fucking matters but this is weird Who's the body she's saying? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking shred it. I'm probably wrong. Oh, I got it right. Okay, I was gonna say what the fuck. It's so random. <laughs> Twy, welcome home. Female, blonde, blue. 5, 6, 45 to 60. A little bit different on the age. And uh, unknown weight. We're looking for Leela Morrison. Eh. 45 to 60. 5 foot 6. Unknown weight. Female. Blonde hair. Blue eyed. What is going on here? 45 to 65. Morrison, where the fuck? It's two six feet. Maybe she's a little bit taller. Nope. Nope. Is she fucking 40? Leela Morrison, she is 41. You guys fucked me. Not you guys, but the, the reporter. How's everyone? You got, oh, you got the cup? Nice. Good, I'm glad. Now drink water with it. <laughs> with Leela Morrison. Oh, she has a police report. Nothing on social networks, though. All right, so here's the story that we have. My friend, Mrs. Morrison, has been acting kind of strange for the past few weeks. She won't come out and see her other friends or me anymore. She doesn't even tend the garden or anything else. When I went to make a surprise visit a few days ago, I heard her arguing with her husband. He left the house directly afterward. Whenever I try to reach her, I think she deliberately ignores me. Could you follow up on that, please? I'm afraid something's wrong, especially since she seems to be buying a lot of alcohol lately. Well, there is a lot of alcohol. There. Well, not a lot, but that's six things of wine, three things of vodka. Cigarettes, coffee to go in a, in a six pack of buffalo beer, and then more wine, wine, beer. 
Okay. Dispatch call to George Washington Elementary by the teacher, Mr. Biden. Hey, wait a minute. Or having at the scene, we met Mrs. Morrison, who apparently incredibly intoxicated. Mr. Biden said that she was verbally assaulting a student for saving her class, going to a couple of the students. That became so inflammatory that two of the students in the front row wet themselves. Her colleagues tried to calm her down, but insisted that she was so unco uncooperative that they were forced to call 911. Mrs. Morrison was arrested for public intoxication, verbal assault on a minor. School board has notified the teacher and Mrs. Morrison will be fired as well as trespassed from the area. Aha, uh -huh, I see. So, and we'll just throw, I guess, the this one in here. We only have room for one. But uh, that's a scan. Did that seriously mark me as wrong? Did that mark me as wrong? Getting a little sick over here too, we all need soup, hell yeah. Do I forget to connect to bring beer to 504? Like someone's gonna kill you? I mean, yeah, probably. Uh, all right, well, report's done, let's take a look. Okay. Yeah, you're not allowed to get, no one's allowed to get sick again. How about that? We're all gonna live healthy lives. Bring beer to power for is a Wi-Fi you can connect to and what oh, okay. I didn't know that. Thanks for uh Thanks for spoiling something. That door is locked uh, window's locked. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How dare you give away a fucking network name, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Ban me. <laughs> no, that's your kink and you'll want it. Try and chug. Good. That's all I ask for is try. We got a female. Brown hair. Brown eyes. Uh, unknown age. Unknown height. Unknown weight. But we know the name is Max Snow. Well, thank fucking God for that. Because if we didn't have anything else. Ooh, she has an, an online alias. I'm gonna punch them in here first because it's so out of the way. O P H Blossom. Oh, whoops. I put it in the wrong spot. And I fucking deleted it by accident. Max Snow. Although Max Snow sounds like a fucking fake name too. No police record. That's good. All right. So what's the story here? You're going to someone to think there's their serial killer. <laughs> yeah, her name is Max Snow. We're both students at the local union. We're in the same pre-med track doing our anime class. So I feel like this is a burn. Why can't we do this on a, yeah, so they were doing dissections. Why can't we do this on a real body? I'm pretty sure this girl is, is like working part time at a, uh, at a mortuary or something like that. I feel like that's what it is. Fucking atrocious, blah, 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 blah. Classmate. I'm inter uh, I'm, in I'm interning at the Graves and Funeral Home, and we're looking for interns. You know your stuff. I know Mr. G uh, Graves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is where I'm going in the right direction. You guys shift to the morgue tomorrow morning. If not busy, learn the ropes. Wait, really? Not sure if I really deserve the med student role, but hell, I'm so down. Yeah, I'm not buying any of this. This is I remember this one. This is a shred. Hell yeah, brother! All right, we got one left. Let's do a quick camera run. We'll check our shit. I hate water right, but I was so thirsty. That's what happens. Excuse you. What was that all about? That's locked. Perfect. Just make sure the bathroom isn't fucky. Not that it would, because there's no windows in there. 
all the other lights are on. We are golden. All right, this is a male with brown hair and brown eyes. He is 5'6", he's between 20 and 25 years old and weighs 150 pounds. So I'm gonna tree spying the neighbor, not sure long. Oh yeah, we saw this one before. I went with Scott McPherson, didn't I? He had a bunch of shit on them that was super sketchy. Yeah, we had this one. And for whatever reason, I got a no on it. Again, can't read what it says here. Looks like red wine. Would you believe it? I'm actually in bed at a reasonable time, too. No, you're lying. Wow. And he has some sketchy fucking shit on here, too. You know what? I bet you it's this. I feel like some people just deserve to die. And him talking to the cleaner. Because his pictures are fine. Oh, this one's a little sketchy, but it's like, it's not... It's not like it's an actual dead body of someone he's killed. Like, some of this shit's kind of fucky. But, like, clean up... He legit says, hey, I killed this person. And then the social media says, I feel like some people just deserve to die, if you know if you know what I mean. And we're going to scan this one up. And if it's wrong again, you can suck my balls. But the first thing we're going to do, check the cams. And make sure everything looks nice and quiet and cozy. And then we'll check the windows and the rooms. Nope, I'm in bed, super sleepy, been up since 8 a.m. in a car nine hours. Yeah, fuck that. That's enough. All right. Every, all the lights are on and everything. Windows are closed. We are fucking Gucci, my guys and gals and non-binary pals. Fucking scan it. I'm going to bed. They marked it as wrong again. I have no fucking idea why. How is that not sketchy? Anyways, we're back tonight too. Again, they were really nice to me on the first night. Like, it's so fucking confusing. I don't know why. I don't know why that one is not suspect enough he admits to killing somebody and wants it to be covered up and then on top of that he even posts publicly that some people should just die oh whoops going to bed i hope you beat this thank you fry probably not i already have two blemishes so it's not good. If like the guy's like a CEO or something that gets a get out, probably. I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you beat. Yeah. So thank you for. I think so much for hanging out. Thank you for the donation. Um, thank you for letting me drink bourbon on stream. It's great. <laughs> so I appreciate you, and I hope you get a lovely night's sleep tonight, and have a nice easy Tuesday tomorrow. Okay. So your affiliate today? Uh, my affiliate is, is in December. Today is actually my stream anniversary. My first stream was October 30th, 2020. We played this game, believe it or not. I didn't have like any alerts. I didn't have, everything was default. I didn't have a cam. Basic as fuck. I think I actually had like a shitty microphone attached to my, attached to these actually. All right, so this person's five feet tall, 120 pounds, we'll give 125. Let's see, 40s, five feet, 133 pounds, probably closer to this person, Latoya Kirby. 
So as they go back to a car with two screaming kids under her arms, they kept screaming that they didn't want to go with her and she was just ignoring them. I mean, it's probably just mom fucking fed up with your shit. But we will do our due diligence. Fuck. Does it include a last name? What the fuck are you talking about? No police record found. All right, let's see. Uh, coloring book. Ice cream truck. I can't fucking read that shit. That's so annoying. Open the you open the uh, you'll be able to open the package tomorrow. Awesome. I look forward to it. Yeah, please, all of you, feel free to share it in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, please do join us. Um, I'd love to see how everything turns out. Back to Crash Nitro Kart for me? Hell yeah. Sounds like my streams. <laughs> Be able to open the package tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. English? No. I'll get some pics tomorrow? Thank you. My popcorn, my personalized Emacs last time I watched the movie. Let's see what all the hype is about. Your 12th birthday, Kaylee. I the toy loves you. Wants you and your sister to know that. Angel, real rough night. I'll spare you all the details, but it's safe to say I'm not fit to work today. We've got any reputations for engaging in a binge watch, but listen, I have to doze off in. Looks like I'm into the couch today. Ick. Okay. Well, let's check the phone. Is there anything sketch in here? And then we'll check the other, uh, the other ID as well if there's nothing. Search history, local college place, park search babysitting, park my park playground marriage, challenge to like the park, challenge to like playgrounds, coloring books, extra ice cream calories. Okay. Pictures. There's the kids. Uh someone at their work. Hanging by the laptop. Alright, you look at pictures, you idiot. Richard you know, Hey Latoya, I've got a favorite ask you. Michelle's little size. So she needs a ride to and from tonight. Do you think you could come over and babysit Kaylee and Josh for a few hours saying, Yeah. Help me in when you need me there. I'll use the by fire. It's the latest. It's a long drive. Feel free to clock on now if you need to. I'll cover you just for the favor. The only manager is a real hardest. Be good at the kids. Be a fire list. Blah, blah, blah. This should be Coop Evans all summer. I'll see you at five. Get a blast. Went to the park. Ran out for a while. Now we're hanging out on the couch and they keep the kids thanking the air conditioner for being so cool. Your kids are great, Rich. Oh, yeah. So it's. I don't think this is bad at all. Watch. They'll say that this, is, this isn't a shred job. Somehow it's not a shred job. I got it right. Suck it. Okay. Cameras! Thought I saw motion out there. I guess not. Okay. Let's go check our... House? So I think I asked earlier... But I wasn't really, I don't think I saw any responses to it. Has anyone played this game before? I just like to know. Well, besides you. <laughs> All right, we got a male. We've got black hair, brown eyes, unknown age. Unknown height and weight, but his name is Van Atwell. So we know who he is. Van Atwell. There he is. Boom. No aliases. Good to know. You know those large fish tanks? Like <sighs> Damn it. Internet went out again. Motherfucker. We reset the router in the back room closet. Always check cams before you get up. Always. internet shittiest internet in the fucking world shuffle said as much earlier i am in 100 percent agreement i should have checked here while i was there okay that's fine yep oh shit okay let me check this one in particular it was locked good to know let us reboot Wish I could just reboot it and walk away, but oh, there we go. Like I can shake my mouse and nothing happens. Good to go. Yes. Yes. All right. <clears throat> All right. 
Uh, watch fish tanks. Uh, Master has those movies. Kind of where there's a stunning variety of fish. And as you admire the vibrant colors, your shark comes by and sucks the enjoyment right out of the scene as it eats the cute one. Oh, that's mean. We'll get these searches going. My neighbor's backyard. The guy's in an aquarium. Rush for the fish on the weird things that they're in this pool. The guy must know his stuff, but don't all pools have chlorine in them? That would have to be bad, possibly even deadly for the fish, right? I mean, cool part of decoration for your backyard. I feel weird not reporting this. Last thing that we need to hear is one of our dogs, even a child, falling into the pool and getting attacked by Van's fish. A 305, first October 26, anonymous source leads information. Mr. Atwell doing some insider training. The last party informed the police of where anyone he was discussed when I was again. Police listened to Mr. Atwell discussing critical financial information with his stockbroker and other third parties. There was enough evidence to convict Mr. Atwell and his associates, but he helped us find three million US dollars and served a sentence of ten years in federal prison. Uh, sirloin, beer, cheese, and salads. Large bag of sand. Small pocket pistol. Oh, for air gun. I just Like, I get it. You don't, if they're, they're nice fish, but like, I don't know. I ain't buying it. I'm sorry. I'm going to get wrong for that somehow. Yeah. I don't know how that's wrong. I couldn't explain to you how that's wrong. Nothing in his evidence made, made any sense. I have a feeling Adam needs to take a look at this game again. There may be some bugs or something. <laughs> Like, I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to pull for evidence out of that at all. It doesn't make any sense. Like, this person's worried about fish inside of a pool that has chlorine in it, and it's... There's nothing that tells me there's any problems. Alright, we're good. So weird. All right, Mabel Givens, female, five six, brown hair, hazel eyes, between twenty five and thirty five, and we don't know the weight. I don't think that's something to worry about. Uh, clear that. Let's do Mabel Givens. No police record, no uh, social networks. I've worked with Dr. Gibbons office for six years now. She's such a talented shrink. She's probably the greatest I've ever seen. She's helped her patients through most everything, depression, PTSD, anxiety, you name it. This goes on and on. It's fantastic. She has such a gift. However, I read in the newspaper today that someone who I could swear was a former patient of hers had robbed a bank. My doubt comes from the fact that the guy in the paper had a different name than the patient I was thinking of. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. I need to schedule myself for some sessions with Dr. Gibbons. Uh, beer and optical illusions book or cavity prevention mouthwash toothpaste dental floss there best be something in her fucking phone because she's clean otherwise All right, hypnosis, mentalism, magic shows coming up near me. Latest psychology studies and research from a place where friends take your knees. All about magic shows. Latest exam treatments, PTS treatments, uh, and ways to have control over different ways to have control over others is weird. Why is everything so insignificant? Make your friends do things for you. That's weird. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Weird news me stealing dark game. It felt so real. Like when I was mugging people the next night, I was robbing a store. I even had thought of wearing a mask. Never knew what was causes. Everything is fine. This part of the healing process. This is real, though. I understand you're already helping me tremendously, so there's no reason to doubt that you will see these dreams will go. That's not funny, Shuffle. That's not funny at all, but thank you for the biddies. I do appreciate it. Is it done, Alan? Have you done what I asked? Yes, Dr. Givens. Ten days later, were you seen? No, Dr. Givens. Dropped off in my practice at our next scene. Yes, Dr. Givens. Well. Mm. No charges come by. 
Hmm. Oh, Dr. Ryder was in a rider. Mila, my dog, you're walking behind. So much fun with you. With the best axe and the caliber, blah, blah, blah. You're welcome. Okay, so that's just a regular conversation. Is it done, Dr. Gibbons? Thank you, Victoria. Unfortunately, you have information from one of my sources of you being identified by a witness. The attack, but since you've been in our packs now, you know what to do now. Goodbye, Victoria. Oh, goodbye, Dr. Gibbons. Zachary, how are you feeling today? I think Dr. Gibbons, we call my panic attacks, blah, blah, blah. Fruitful, thank you. Good, you'll be glad you did. Victoria's in debitor. Make sure she meets her on Zachary. Thank you, of course. She did it herself, Dr. Gibbons. Okay, good. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, that's easy. That is a definite fucking scan. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Time to do the checks. Oh, fuck me. Locked. I forgot there's no fucking sprint in this game either. All right, that looks good to me. There was one light that was off, but the windows were locked. It's all good. Let's get back to work. We've already done three reports. We have to do four more. Well, we've already reached our quota, but... Latoya Kirby. Didn't we do this one, too? This feels familiar. Brown and brown, female. Unknown age. Unknown height and weight. Looking for Latoya Kirby. Boom. There she is. We have. We've, we've seen her name somewhere else. I don't know where. I've seen that face, too. No. You fuck! It doesn't sound good, and our internet went out. It's weird. Wait, the internet didn't go out. Oh, the doom was the fucking no records thing. Oh, I just got fucking flubbed. Oh, what a waste of time. I got so scared because I heard the fucking noise and it was nothing. Okay. So this person thinks that they were being kidnapped. Yeah, I remember seeing- I, we've gone into her shit before. And they were hanging out. And these are the- yeah, he's like, hey, thanks, it was awesome, I had a great time. Yeah, nothing crazy there, got some ice cream. Lunch hour meal deal. Nothing wrong with her social networking. Yeah, I don't know. I'm fucking shredding it. Thank you. I'm like, don't fuck me on these, please. All right, let's check. Perfect. That's what we like. Nothing's getting fucked with. Except for me. Who did that? Anonymous. Thanks. Appreciate you. 
All right, we got a 45 to 55 year old male who is five feet tall, 215 pounds, we'll do 225. Hair color is black, eye color is brown. Lorenzo Bianchi, Bianchi. There he is. All right, he's got no alias or anything. Lorenzo Bianchi, Bianchi. There we go, got him. No police records. No social media. Let's hack his phone. That was the internet call. Yep, top left is red now. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so we gotta go back and reset the router for real this time. All right, that's locked still. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. Back to work. Fantastic. Uh, uh, okay. So, and Lawrence is a 72 year old mother. Lawrence is a little strange and quite difficult to reason with a few days ago. His wife, Mary and Lorenzo, and I were on a camping trip. And Mary asked if Lorenzo could teach her how to swim. He kept putting it off. I told Lorenzo it would be a good idea to teach her considering they were planning to go fishing and a couple of kayaks, but he disagreed when Mary left with Lorenzo. That was the last time I saw her alive. Parents found her unresponsive downstream from where they had gone fishing. I'm able to resuscitate her. Lorenzo and I cried for hours on the end that it, it happened. Now only a few days after my son has grown cold to me, the few conversations I've had with him feel like I hate to say it, but faking being heartbroken about the loss. Other people have has griefed all types of ways, but I'm... Not sure him just trying to be a man about the whole situation. It's just strange behavior. He's showing his face again. Uh, it makes it very difficult trying to read that. Orderless ways to get rid of a body. Police response times. Online delivery not showing up. Time to pass out from lack of oxygen. Okay, pictures kind of hold up. Big TC. It killed Mary two hours ago, and I can explain what. As she's getting special to me, I told her some shit to calm her down, but she wouldn't listen. We were on a trip, and she came me. you too much. I knocked her out and put her face down in the water for 10 minutes or so. Jesus Christ, what did you tell her? Well, that I, uh, I do this for the better, that those girls have no future. Me sending them to Russia is good for them. They get married to some rich fuck, live their lives afterwards. Said it was for the best. She wouldn't listen to me. Started calling me a human trafficker. She knew way too much. What about her? Mary meant nothing to me. She was barely a decoy for my hidden identity. What about your mom? Are you going to get rid of her as well? Fuck no. She knows next to nothing. It's best that it's all. <laughs> well. Oh, God. Okay, so that's going to go in. Uh, yeah. Search history. Time to pass out from lack of oxygen. Specific to those text messages. This is as legitimate as it gets. You cannot tell me this is a no. Thank you. Like, that is as straightforward as it gets. I couldn't fucking frame that any better. Fucking pricks. Pull that shit with me, will ya? Alright, let's check. Nice. Okay. Still good to go. The fuck was that? Play a glass. Oh, thank you, tree. <laughs> Welcome in, bud. 
Thank you for the biddies. So it's like Googling how long to drown someone as he was holding her head under. <laughs> Damn, it kind of hurt to type that. Yeah, exactly. Janet Hudson, female, 45 to 50, brown, brown hair and brown eyes, unknown weight and height. Lions are 6'2", let's fucking go. Dude! I'm completely on board with that. That's fucking awesome. Hope you, I, I ask, I'd say I hope you're doing well, but clearly you are. I get the impression that my neighbor, Mrs. Hudson, leads a secret double life. She's young men in and out all the time. She does an incredible amount of work to look good and probably drives one of the most expensive cars in the neighborhood. Last week, there was some weird guy in a suit about her age sharing with her on the porch. They were talking about what, uh, whether Mrs. Hudson was prepared or not for the intense stuff. That next week, three men should come for the final coding. I'm not comfortable with the idea of a criminal living next door to me. Well, then fucking move. <laughs> Sorry. You want to get involved? Like, word. Let's do it. I did it again. I did... No police wreck. We do have some social media presence, though. Secret making off for the grand finale for all followers on Only Admirers. Just finished shooting next week tomorrow at 22.30. Be ready, guys. Is she an adult movie star? Is that what this is? Worldwide and dine. Uh, mouthwash, two packs in cigarettes, and vanilla cigarettes. Hairdress in the area, replacement cream concealer, sensitive skin glue. Vanishing powder for all skin tones, rotten meat. Pictures. Oh, look at this. Makeup artist. George. If the big finale next week, Janet, of course I am, George. I'm looking forward to the men and, of course, the designs. I was thinking about bringing Christina on board. She got experience in latex application. She was a freak out. I've seen her stuff on social media. I heard her. She has an Only Myers account, too. I would love to collaborate. Janet, we've been working together for almost 15 years. Never got a caddy when it comes to. That's what I love about you. Yes, the industry is getting tougher and tougher, but I know it is good to take it all. There's nothing bad here. She clearly has a job and she's doing it. Rip it. Thank you. Okay, clear this. Let's do the cameras. All right. I cried left left the wind, not gonna lie. <laughs> nice. Who are they playing? Oh, we ran out of time. Well, we made it. I, I was like, wait, did we though? <laughs> I forgot to check. <laughs> Raiders? Oh, okay, nice. Good, good. Ugh. We'll be, uh, sat Garoppolo six times. Oh, shit. Well, I'm sure you'd be happy, Tree. We uh, we broke into the $1,300 area. So that means welcome to the game, too. Um, we'll be played at some point in an upcoming stream. Which is kind of like... Kind of like Dead Signal, but, a, but more intense. And uh, we're only... $13 and change away from the uh, Steam game giveaway for the night. So we're rolling. Oh, I don't want to leave yet. Oh, it was locked. Huh. But we had a bunch of people fighting over what the digits were going to be at the end of the dollar. And uh, 69 has been set free. But at one point, we were at $1,269.69. And it was glorious. Okay, that's all set. That's all set. Locked. Locked. 69, dude. Ha, <laughs> 69. <laughs> nice. All right. We are set up and ready for night three. And we got for upgrades to 35. 
and super kick crack that'd be great let's buy a couple of those okay all right we've got 45 to 50 heights unknown weights unknown male gray hair eye color is brown let's find him herbert winter Eh, it doesn't look like a Herbert to me, but he looks creepy as fuck. Herbert Winter. He doesn't have any aliases, right? No. He has a police report out on him. Social media. Into his phone. All right. My long time neighbor, Mr. Winter, came by for a visit a few days ago. I didn't want to be rude, so I let him in. Although I was doing homework with my son. Anyway, I noticed something odd when I saw the look the man gave my son. He dismissed it as a crazy notion, even then, let the man help with his homework. So far, so good. Yesterday, he approached my 12 year old son inside of school and offered to take him home, which my son refused. But this first, this fact robbed me of sleep for the whole night. Mr. Winter is usually a nice and helpful man. He also told me that his hobby, video games, has a lot to do with teenagers, and that he knows what makes them tick. I don't feel comfortable anymore with the thought of a boy out alone. Yikes. And hand a parcel of heroin to a 13 year old boy. Let's just say that the boy lived only a few houses away from him and that he thought the package was a child's brothers, the front runner in an infamous local garage band. We contacted the parents of the boy to corroborate Mr. Wood's story. The parents told us that Mr. Wood had tried to convince the local children in the neighborhood multiple times to run drugs for him across town. At the moment, Mr. Wood was quickly arrested for attempted drug smuggling, which is a minor illegal act when he told him of the charges. The rest gets me devolved into hysterics said that all this bullshit doesn't matter anyway because he's going to leave the neighborhood. This was taken to the police station where fingerprints and DNA were obtained for any future incidents. Jesus Christ. Dude's a fuckhead. Mouthwash, it says underneath there, and uh, gift card and mouthwash. I don't know. Not helpful there. I changed your car license plate to be in place in the area. Smuggled laws by state. How to contain odors with cling film. My car's how to trick a drug dog. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. More peace in the good walk in the forest. House in the forest today. Blah, 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 blah. Calling for duty, finest hour. <laughs> yeah, so none of that's helpful. Pictures. God. He likes the abandoned places too, like someone else did. Oh, he's got some of that weed leads. It's not heroin though. Boss. Uh, I want to cancel my late shift at the weekend. The reason for this is that my mother passed away a few months ago. Here's my sister lives in the state. Ba 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 ba. Toast after the loss, I went off to the clinic. Of course, you can stay with your sister for the winter consensus of the scene. Like, me, giving them a lecture. Wish you good luck and prudence at the coming time. Kyle, on tomorrow, they will carry our lunch boxes to the stash house for the point card. It's amazing, beautiful. I told you those Z box cards reveal those brats in. When they win the dope, not over text, I'll call you with the details. Well, Kyle, you're going in here with the police report. Sus as fuck. Queen B. Happy four months to the one and only Jug Lug Jug Jug. Thank you. I don't know how that report was wrong. I'm getting really upset with how this reporting is going in this game today. But Queen B, thank you so much. Four months of subscriptions. Oh my God. Thank you so much. It is, uh, it, it's, it's something else when people are, are subscribing or giving bits and spending their hard earned money um, on this stream. It's just, it's fucking crazy to me. Although I guess this month would make sense. This for charity, but the other 11 months out of the year. So I appreciate you. I don't understand why I keep getting all these fucking reports wrong. Like, does, does anyone else look through these reports with me and go, well... No, Jug. I, I think you're you're not getting the right stuff. Who's a good girl gets jump scares? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Correct. <clears throat> All right, we got a male, black hair, hazel eyes. He's 190 pounds. We'll put 200. He is six feet. And he's between 35 and 45. Let's search for him, figure out a name. Only got two, 36 and 42. 
Five, seven, five, eleven. This is closer. One nine. Oh yeah, it's this dude, Jesse Porter, for sure. That's the closest. <sighs> Jesse Porter. Let's dig into this dude's life. No police records. No social media. Point eight nine left. That was close. Whew, shit. I've dealt with doctors for the past couple of months. After finding out the woman who I thought I was going to marry wasn't so cash for me for cash, various gifts the whole time with friends and family. We're with about my well-being for the foreseeable future. They're all looking for ways to cheer me up and fix the situation. A friend found this unique service called the Fisherman. He gave me a quick rundown. They were able. They were private investigators who would find the people who catfished you and help to get you closure. It was a joke at first, but then he said I had it. But I had a footstep out there. May have just been that car. Uh, whatever. Uh, we're going through the blah, 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 blah. Would it be helping with my situation? Where's he had to recount the past fast? We'll see. Please, I get full of this criteria. My buddy had already for all the information. Blah, 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 blah. So it was on a piece of paper. Uh, how I'll find the person this helped me. The man with the smart face said, we'll do more than just find them. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're in good hands. We left the meeting at that point. My friend encouraged me that this was the best move going forward with it. I really answered my question. Sure, to agree to for when, uh, blah, blah, blah. this is some niche prank service to get prank at city people. When I went home, tried to look at the fishman up and found nothing online. I called my buddy, found them, and I just want to know for sure nothing malicious is going to happen. Well, this guy bought bubble gum, donut, and coffee, and uh, plant food, orange cleaner, a light bulb, and hair and grease drain cleaner. Which make you save with light light bulbs, turning your home into a smart home cost, or all the rest listening to what we say. How safe is a smart lock, making any car autonomous? Where to find only uplifting news? Okay. That's sketch. That's sketch. Update one found info. Judy writes to her feet, blah, 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 blah. She's being transferred new to repent for her sins. Image being, image being sent now. Wiring cash to upgrade the contract returns. Same amount of upgrade. Oh my god. I want to make sure we're aware of what we were doing. We're setting off on his behalf. He's been messing for far too long over this thing. I need to get him back. So I used to meet with him before we continue. Let's be two days from now. Looks like for Friday. I'll kill him down to the meet. Know that you're responsible for the information that you know now. If your job is to make sure your friend is quiet about what happens from here, understood. All right, so that's important. The problem client with the coach said about the target, so the target was the client's boyfriend. Bye bye. Make sure the client send two more men with you and take her out to the woods. I want this done. She, done slow. She knew the code and the repercussions of breaking it. Report back when it's done. Target's in our position. Sending a photo now. I think we should provide a photo because they mentioned a photo. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I could do three. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm putting both fucking photos in there. All right, this is one of the seven, so we can scan this up. There we go. Yep, time to check the doors and the screens. I haven't disagreed with the decision you've made yet, Jug. Thank you. I appreciate you, Shuffle. Like, I'll definitely take stretches on things. But like, especially when it's, oh shit. Especially when it's obviously not a big deal and I'm just like, hey, let's confirm this isn't a big deal. Okay, I've confirmed it and I'm just gonna shred it. Like, how are they gonna come back and say that was wrong? It seems silly. That's locked. Good. Not good. We have quite a few fucking lights out, but no unlocked windows, so that's good. Oh, you fucking prick. I fucking forgot he does that. And now he's in the fuck. Oh. God damn it.
he'll leave, but fuck. Female, black hair, brown eyes, unsure of weight, unsure of age. We have the height down, though. Yumi Katayoma. There she is. No aliases. Yumi Katayoma. No police record. <clears throat> Alright, fuck it. Alright, so closing up the club the other night, I overheard one of the girls say she took a guy to some after party at the motel down the road and stole his shit when he was passed out. So they wanted to get off work and head to an after party and see someone who was at the club that night. I mean, he wouldn't be out here. Because he's inside the fucking house right now. I need to go check one more time. I'm not opening up that fucking door. Throwback jump scare peekaboo? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, see? I knew something was up. Oh, but the... Window's still locked, so that's good. All right, we're clean. All right. Oh, I initially thought she was just making things up, but the still, the guys have been saying they've heard the same from I went to the owner of the club, Jax, told him what I thought was going on, when I asked Yumi, I brought it up as casually as I couldn't, sure, and she assured me that it was just a joke and there was nothing to worry about, I know driving away. Especially by robbing them wouldn't make sense in the long run, saying it's only a couple extra bucks for yourself. You're just getting arrested. However, I wouldn't put it past some of the girls do something stupid. Wrong up with this, and I call out Yumi, I'll lose my job. I have a kid to feed and bills to pay. So if y'all could look into this and appreciate it. Also, if you're around, stop by Vill Dance Club and ask for Kimmy. That's me. Oh my. Drink specials. Uh, drink specials. Drink specials. Yeah. Yo ho, Mr. Key Rock. What's up? Welcome in, my friend. This fucking game, dude. I do too. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it a backrooms game? Are you there? It's a jug. Marcy, welcome in, friend. That's fucking terrifying. Jack, it's me, your friend. Carl, you're a fucking dick. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> welcome in. Oh, excuse me. Ooh! Welcome, Mr. Key Rock. Welcome in, Raiders. Adorably disturbed. Welcome in. How are you doing? Love the name. Says you were just chatting for your stream. What were you guys up to? We were literally just chatting. If so, that's fucking cool. Um, so if you don't know me, I'm one of the CEOs of Screams, along with uh, our dear friend, Mr. Key Rock. And uh, I haven't set up one of I haven't set up a, a thing for him yet. Although I should have still done it. Oh, it did actually. Um, he is one of the CEOs, and uh, we're happy to have him. He's relatively on the newer side. Last I think it was about a week ago now, maybe a little bit more. We love to have you, and uh, so I yeah so I'm you can call me Jug for short. We are in the midst of what we call Jugtober. Uh, we celebrated all October long. Technically, today is my three-year anniversary of streaming, um, but I don't like. We, we'll we'll take mention of it. That's why I'm playing Scrutinize. It was the first game I ever streamed on October 30th, 2020. But uh, we're raising money for Hope for the Day uh, all month long. We're actually up to uh, one thousand three hundred eighty-six dollars and sixty-nine cents. It's cool, you're a newbie anyway. Ah, you're not a newbie. Thank you, just fine. So proud of me. Oh, no, thank you, Tree. And don't be disturbed. Thank you so much for the uh, the follow. Welcome to the mob officially. That's going to put us at 980 followers. We're 20 away from the big 1K, which is fucking huge. Um, 
But yeah, we raised money for Hope for the Day this whole month. Uh, if you don't know what Hope for the Day is, it's a nonprofit that uh, provides services regarding mental health, such as um, suicide awareness and prevention, which are uh, really important to me, and I'm sure are really important to a lot of people in this community and other people that the community members know and love. So. <clears throat> congrats thank no don't congratulate me congrats please congratulate everybody in chat i mean it's people have been so generous and they're they're so generous every every year um two years ago we raised fourteen hundred dollars last year we raised, we raised a little over two thousand dollars and this year we're, we're just shy of fourteen hundred dollars again like it's it's unbelievable it's awesome working at psych hospital oh well that's awesome well, thank you for the work that you put in. I'm sure that job is is not easy. I can only imagine what you go through in a day. So to, uh, to Adorably Disturbed, to Mr. Key Rock, the rest of the Raiders, welcome in. Cheers. Should I just cheering every time a raid comes in? I feel like that should be what I, be, I do. And so, uh, <clears throat> big ups, dude. I hope to get to that caliber of donations. I, it's crazy. It, it's absolutely absurd. The only the only person I know personally that uh, performs like crazy donation work really is uh, is Wheeler Dealer. Um, he was in here earlier. Um, let me see if I can. I give him a shout out through here. I hope I can. I don't know if he's uh, lurking or not. I think you have to be lurking or at least in the chat for me to do it. I mean, I, I mean, through the button here, I could also just type it out like a big boy. I could also ask a mod to do it, but I don't want to ask them to do anything. My mods are fucking awesome. They do all this shit for me. I don't have to do any of it. I think I find the work very rewarding. I enjoy it very much. That's awesome. Uh, S.O. Wheeler Dealer. So this guy here, Wheeler Dealer, he is a... Uh, He's completely charity streamer, and it's not going to work. Oh, there we go. It just took a second. He's completely a... Um, he's a variety streamer, but uh, every dime that he makes goes towards um, canine, and compa uh, canine companions, where uh, it helps raise and train service animals and then gets them to the people that need those service animals free of charge. Um, so if you're, if you're into that... Uh, you know, variety streamer, funny dude. He uh, he rages a lot too in the games that he plays, and it's a good time. Um, but uh, he does a bunch of other corny stuff too. He's uh, he can't do sours, sour stuff. That's his thing. Um, where mine is like hot sauce, and uh, he actually will do a thing where it's he can't swear for five minutes, and if he does, he has to have a warhead. <laughs> so, just wanted to recommend. Um, but yeah. You guys probably know what the CEOs of Screams are. I've been hanging out with Mr. Key Rock. If you haven't ever heard about Channel 13, jump scare compilation videos, and also Mr. Key Rock, highly recommend if you want to be a part of uh, the part of the jump scare compilation videos. If you go to that link, the channel 13 horrorcom you or anyone else can actually submit clips for you. Um, it's a really easy form. You provide like the Twitch links, the basic information, hit go. And then um, usually we get them out later on. Um, I don't particularly do the editing, but uh, I do know the guy that does. And he loves what he does. And he wants this to... Whew, fucking mouse. He really wants to get monetized on YouTube. And YouTube, unfortunately, has been really fucking with him. How do you get a ketamine prescription? Does ketamine make you forget? Legal name change process. How long does a standard ketamine dose wear off? Bottle service girl average pay. How much can you legally collect in tips before you're taxed? Some sketchy shit in there. It's a beer. Club. Salt. Beer. Beer. Whiskey. Picture of friends. Text convos. Julius. This Julius, Kev, give me a number, send you, you can leave me something, blah, blah, I'm one of Kev's friends, can you help me with this press problem I have? Uh, I hear you share from Kev, tell him to call, never had, uh, heard of you before. All right, we cool, Kev said you, uh, you pretty, Julius loves a nice pretty girl, hello, we cool or what, I need help with this shit, if you drill over me, come over to the club where I get paid for that shit, yeah, it's cool, when, when do you want this done? Do you know what it is yet? Uh, needs to know when, so when, ASAP would be nice, all right, how many people? Just one dumb gun from the club. All right, one dumb gun. That's going to be $2,000. Julius needs 
his money and then the problem will be taken care of. All right, I come down to the club tomorrow. My internet went out on the goddamn fucking PC. Shit. All right, so we got to make sure that no one's running outside the house before I go and reset the router, which we're doing right now. I'm still not opening up that door. You can still be in there. Make sure all make sure all the lights are on. That was weird. All the lights are on. Yes, sir. Perfect. Oh, okay. Back at it. Our tomorrow is money for a pretty girl. She don't need to tell Julius twice. She'll just be ready. Hey, girl, for to tell you after your natural beauty. Parents zip. Blah blah. Fuck this. I give you two thousand. Like you wanted. Now you want more. It's the only way it happens with Julius. Just fuck I'll figure something out. Put some fucking lotion on your hands, Julius. I set a date up on Sunday night with Kimmy the dumb whore. I'm gonna drive her over to wherever you all are, and then it's out of my hands. So that sketch. Here you go, Julius. Kev. Or the K impulse get it for I looked it up. Just give me the same amount as last time. No chill. I've told the kind of shit. Thank you. Uh, good heart will just make the wrong person suspicious. Already happened. Some heart the club sign. She's cute. Da, 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 da. Uh, money's going where? I guess that K. Work as usual. I'll be waiting for that K. And I just trust. Why am I on this trust fund soy boy? He's perfect for this shit. Oh, no. All right. Yeah. This is pretty rough. And this is her talking about it. I'm just gonna do Kimmy and Julia's text. Oh, and Kev. All three of them are important. And they're gonna make me fucking fail. So I'm gonna scan in, it's gonna be a loss. Nope. You did it, that's good. Oh my God, I forgot about the fucking internet. How did that work? How did that work? Oh, you son of a bitch. I fucking did not miss that. Well, Spud, now you see how it goes. Thank you, Tree. Yeah, my husband do psych and we help with detox. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good to hear. Addiction is such a terrible, terrible fucking thing. So many people impacted by addiction, directly, indirectly. Okay. Wait, I just stop. <laughs> God, I don't know why the fuck Tanner has to do that to me all the fucking time. The internet. Here we go. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, by the way, everybody, uh, Mr. Keylock himself, who just raided us a short time ago, in case you didn't know, he actually is voice acting in that new game from uh, Authogen that we'll be playing on Friday called Buried. He voices the main character. I found that out today, and um, I think it's fucking cool. And I can't wait to check it out. It's going to be, it's like the game itself I was already excited for. Now it's, I'm just more so invested. 265 pounds, we'll do 275 age 50 to 60 dope indeed celebin chat hell yeah kenneth riley there he is close that shit out been a white rundown looking van in kenny's driveway since sunday it's leaking all the oil on the sidewalk smells like a restroom when i pass by it on my morning walks and my husband harold would ask him to move the van since we're in the neighborhood's jogging route but he didn't answer the door despite knowing he's home I can see him through the big bay window in the front of his house. I know he's in there, but he's not answering his phone, and the van is starting to stink to the end of the street. Even the mulligans can smell it. I also heard from Lorraine that he's been wearing, working under the hood of the van late at night. I guess there's something wrong with it, and that's why he won't move it. Either way, it reeks to Ken and come. We all want it gone. Kenneth Riley. Oh, is it a police report on his ass? All right, I'll look at that momentarily. Oh, 
Whew, still got a second left. <laughs> also, it's Baba. <laughs> All right, so response to an anonymous call from Fieldman's Donut Studio about a disturbance in the middle of the road. According to several eyewitnesses, Caucasian man was seen assaulting a tow truck operator. The victim fled to the second floor of Noble Parking Garage. He was assaulted with a tire by Kenneth Riley, a.k.a. Polly. Mr. Riley was incapacitated via non-lethal force, security in handcuffs, while my partner, Deputy Eaglin, the victim was breathing but unconscious. The victim, a little truck driver named Angela Ball, hospital's kind of informed the victim, appeared frank, confused, and willing to press charges due to the violent nature and mandatory hospital treatment. Deputy and myself have drawn up the following charge: attempted murder, assault, and battery. Based on languages by Mr. Riley, after being read his rights, is one of the is of the police force option, uh, opinion that Mr. Riley intended to take Mr. Ball's life. Mr. Ball refused to give a statement. That's fucked. Uh, shop vac pizza, pizza. Uh, shop vac filter, Steam Pro four thousand. was an air freshener, car, uh, carpet cleaner, trash bags, ice pick, and a, a bunch of water jugs. What the fuck? Thumbtacks and something else. Uh, dog chain. Let's look at his phone. Oil leak, carburetors, best stain remover, funeral parlor cleaning methods. That's sketch. Okay. Oh. Oh. I mean, this looks like photography work. I wouldn't. All right, that's a little weird. I don't think that's necessarily indicative of bad ball. We should get the van up and ready again. Murder Matt is the only reason I get him in the morning these days. I'll show you we need a new car, but I'm not a fucking mechanic. If you want to come and hose out the van in the suburbs, it'll be my guess. I'm sorry, I just need to fucking bitch up. You know, look, I've got a bunny in my basement right now. Come over and slice a couple pieces off at night. Work on the van when the neighbors go down for the night. Your life's over. I'll never forget this. That's fucked. So Hello? I heard walking up. Tanner likes to say hi. Yeah. Yes, he does. Turn hiding in your closet, and then he went outside to jump scare your camera. Yeah, he does that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, he did. This game is just incredibly fucking hard. Oh my god. Oh shit. We'll never know about Kenneth Riley now. I know, what the fuck? I think he was sketch too. I really do. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Like you talk in a Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm Kenneth Riley. I got a nice buddy downstairs you could cut a piece off of just to get you ready. Just don't bother Minnie Wiener here. She'll be fucking goofy. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm sorry. Oh. That's locked. Locked. And he's definitely not in here now. I can open it. Oops. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Let the nightmare begin. Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Check out those bolos. All right, report desk there, MVDB there. We got the root kit down here. We got the SIMDB. We got the root kit. We've got the debit database, police records, and social spy. Let's go right down the list there. <clears throat> Kenneth Riley impression, son of a bitch. Female. We got black hair. We've got brown eyes. Unknown age, height, and weight. We're looking for Emma Salori. Right there, Emma Salori. There she is. No alias online that is known. Emma Salori. Copy it, and we do some searching. No police record. Just have social media. 
and we'll get into her phone as well and then we'll go and check out the, the report here okay <clears throat> the girl Emma Solori from down the street is up to no good. She walked around the block at least five times a day for the last two weeks, walking fast in a very revealing outfit. I think she must be whoring herself out of street walk. Maybe she's a drug dealer or a mule or whatever. I don't trust anyone in her family. Her father went to prison once. Her brothers are always acting like hooligans in the street. I can only imagine what this girl is up to. Wow. So let's see. How do you respond to some bat crap, crazy racist neighbor calling you fat from across the street? Buy a switch, new workout gear, and plan out a... Our walking routine around the neighborhood. Pro Revenge Self-Improvement Edition. Lost 10 pounds since I started walking around to play Gaku Manjol. Sure, it's childish, but dim gains, yo. And FYE, FYI, today I learned the house at the corner of my streets instead of a triple homicide. Thanks for landmark on Gakumon. Lit murder house. Today marks a month since I started taking care of myself. Exercise, I feel great. I sleep better than the weight I lost. as only love. Wow. Okay, so that looks pretty. She's doing pretty good. That's her, the clothes she got. Dubstep uh, playlist, okay. Um, shake fit, water, yeah, that looks self legitimate. Let's check the phone just to make sure. Jogging, jogging, calorie, calories, jogging. Does this outfit make me look trashy? Dot com. <laughs> How many calories in water drinks? Energy drinks, sports, energy, energy toxic, sports, electrolytes, sports. Do dogs remember faces? Do cats remember smells? Ultimate pub quiz cheat website. Wow. 2020. Turn her workout outfit. Mama. Then the street who hurls abuse me every time I walk past. Same rap, blah, blah, blah. Those mean kids at school, you can ignore them. Have you tried telling the authorities? They don't care. She hasn't caused any actual harm. Blah, blah, blah. Trying to pass her eyes. I've always kind of wanted to get into power walking. I want you get some exercise. Yeah. This is just her just getting back at that bitch. Shred it. Thank you. Clear it. Check the cams. All right. Check the rooms. All right, golden. <clears throat> Black hair, brown eyes, male, everything else is unknown. Kai Singh. There he is. He has an alias, the Gaiwan Gangster. Of course. <laughs> How could you forget about the Kaiwan Gangster? The guy Kaiwan Gangster. My word. Kai Singh. No police record. Racked him. I'm just saying he's been with his wife for quite some time now. I want to stay close to 20 years. Even a woman that I've never seen before. And she was saying he's home with when his wife was away. I think she is currently on a business trip. Don't quote me on that. Later in the evening, I heard a woman screaming. And then a glass shutter coming from what I suspect was the open window in his home. I rang his doorbell. And after a minute of waiting, he opened the door and greeted. He explained that a vase fell over. After his friend accidentally bumped it into dash away from bugs she saw. As he closed the door, I could see a freshly dressed wounded on his hand. Saying he's a smart man. Why would have withheld that information about his hand injuries? Beyond me. I'm always skeptical, but if it did happen from the vase, why wouldn't he just say so? I don't know if it did. Little powdered fountain meditation statue. Bluetooth speaker. Eh, nothing crazy there. Gosh, I haven't seen her in years. It'd be fun to get a job. I'll have to bring up the best. They go Jin Jun May. I'm probably okay. Blah, 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 blah. Boring techniques before I switch to boiling water. Blah, I tried. Credible. It talks about this food. Again, food, some relaxing meditation, and yeah, nothing crazy there. 
tea, tea, oolong, oolong, black, red teas, white tea, ba, 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 ba. Uh, how to treat a wound from a glass cut? Okay. Nothing crazy there. There's all the different teas that he gets, I guess. Yeah, none of that looks bad. I mean, it looks weird, but it's not bad. Leanne, I guess, no, I'll be in town. It's perhaps the chance we can meet up. Of course. Oh, it's time, baby. Remy! Hello, my friend. Warning. The directors let the crazies loose in your channel. They come with straight jackets. Here's a leash. Try to catch them. Necrosylum. Oh Hello, God, Visage. <laughs> oh no. Hey, he looks like me when I'm gonna be done with this game. It's older clip. That's from your old place. <laughs> welcome in Remy, welcome in Faye. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Welcome all in. This is from my old place. See, I knew it. I knew it. I remember things. Uh Yes, welcome in everybody. So Remy, you were, uh, what were you playing? Did it even tell me what you were playing? Her oh, Horizon Forbidden West. Nice. A game that I have watched so many people play, like the, both the games there. I think there's two of them that are out. Fantastic looking games. Um, so yeah, for those of you that don't know me that came over in the raid, I am the Juggernaut. You can call me Jug for short, or Jugs, because there's two of them. Uh... You are here in the midst of Jugtober. If you don't know what Jugtober is, it is, well, today of all days too, funny enough. October 30th, 2020, three years ago, was my first stream ever, and I played this game scrutinized. We're playing it again tonight. But this whole month is considered Jugtober. It is, we celebrate the uh, my, my yearly anniversary of streaming, now at three years, and uh, we raise money for Hope for the Day. Uh, they provide services for mental health, uh, mental illness and health such uh, that would relate to suicide awareness and um, prevention. <clears throat> yeah, there's three actually, one for VR too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're actually just, we're, we're wrapping up Jugtober this year. We have tonight and we have obviously tomorrow with Halloween, but uh, we've been raising a ton of money. We're, at, uh, we're over $1,300, getting close to the $1,400 mark. And um, at $1,400, we'll actually be giving away a Steam game. I got a bunch of keys this year to give away. So uh, I think there's four or five left, if I do so recall. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's been amazing. We raised uh, almost $1,400 this year. We raised two, over $2,000 last year, $1,400 the year before that. So we're essentially looking at uh, about close to $4,800 raised in total. And it's uh, it's amazing what this community does and what and, and the things that they stand for and and also how they kick the shit out of me. The only other thing that I'm going to request is if you uh, if you enjoy the content here tonight, um, if you're still here from the raid and you enjoy what you see, consider hitting the follow button. It's free, like anywhere else. Uh, doesn't matter what fucking Elon Musk tells you. But uh, we are actually at 980 followers. We are 20 followers away from 1,000 followers. Uh, a, a milestone I never thought I was going to reach. A milestone when I would look at other streamers and see they had a, at least 1,000. I'd be like, wow, they really made it. They they got big. You know? And it's it's crazy to, to almost be there. And on top of that, should we get to 1,000 followers? Or maybe when we get to 1,000 followers. I don't want to sound... That, like I, I, maybe it'll happen. I think we're pretty close. Should we get there? When we get there? Whatever. We're doing a 24-hour stream. I've never done one before in the three years I've been doing this. Shit, Sam. I never thought I'd be over 500 followers. You just recently got 500, right? I feel like that wasn't too too long ago. Oh, Shuffle, you've been sick too. I'm sorry to hear that. You're 580. Oh, so it wasn't okay. It wasn't that long ago, but you have been flying up through the charts. I do recall that. Uh, we'll drink tea and celebrate. Should have called her to let her know we we three are all good friends. She'll have no objection. Yeah, this was this dude didn't do shit. He seemed to be pretty straightforward with it. We're gonna shred that. Thank you. Okay. 
So I don't know if you've ever played this game before, but this game is something else. Slowly climbing. Yeah, it's, it's a marathon, not a race, you know? So this is, if you've heard of Dead Signal, it just came out like a week ago and it's got pretty big. Well, not big, it got, it got a lot of attention. Oh shit, lights out. I got a lot of attention because the developer that did this game along with the Welcome to the Game series uh, put out Dead Signal. And this game came out in, it was like mid 2020, I think it was during lockdown. He had been working on it you know, before, obviously. This is not Welcome to the Game, but this is the same developer. This is the game that came out after Welcome to the Game 2. But funny enough, Welcome to the Game 2 was our last milestone. I have to play Welcome to the Game 2 for the first time on stream. Really, first time ever. I never actually played it, but I watched a lot of it. Alright, let's move forward with our next person to look into. Brown hair, gray eyes, male, that's all we got. We need Gerard, Gerald Scott, I almost said Gerard. Gerald Scott, there he is. Jeremy Cullen 01 is his online. Uh, social network alias, I guess. Gerald Scott. Whoop. Wow, it's not even him. Ugh, damn it. Fucking asshole. I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. I will. Check windows. I'm going. I'm wonderful. How are you? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so tree. I only have to check the windows if the light's out in the room. All right, all the lights are still on, so that's good. Let's restart the router, and I can't move. <clears throat> all right, we're good. Light's still on here, obviously. I right, tuned in the last time then. Well, he doesn't have to, he's not the reason why you check the rooms. He's why you check the cameras. The reason why you check the rooms is for the kidnapper. But he could get in. I don't know how the fuck he does. He's a slippery little bastard. But it's a it's a fair point to make. He didn't prepare to do police records. He did not. Okay. I've got his phone. <clears throat> All right. Let's read. We recently went to an audition for a singing role and then a musical audition went great except for this one judge that took an interest in me. It was a younger guy with a low raspy voice. Seems he enjoyed my performance too much because he invited me back to his house for some private lessons. At the time, I didn't think it was all that weird. I didn't get a creepy vibe from him until I got to his studio where he had begin to sing in front of some odd looking dolls. It was off putting. I went ahead and did it while he took a bathroom break. I got bored enough to start checking the dolls out some more. So he felt bizarre, more than impressively realistic. And on the throat area of one of them, there was an impression like a door. I touched it only for maximum to open in a painted whimper to echo out of the doll. I was so disturbed that I felt left to a call to Uber and started typing this report out. That's pretty fucking sketchy. Plaster of Paris, Turgman, stainless steel machete, rope, and cable ties. Okay. Host some singing auditions come through if you want to have the chance to start a new musical. Once again, we are hosting auditions. Young woman is a plus. Sorry, fella. Check out the link in my bio and fill out the form for a chance to have one-on-one -on -one personal vocals with, with me. It's completely free. <laughs> Preserving a human body. Dolls, dolls makeup. How to do makeup. I think it really rolls to be as pretty as a doll. Painting over human skin. Mummification. Vocal lessons. Hour tube. Singing dolls. Can I turn women into dolls? Butchering of humans. <laughs> oh, this guy did it. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he did some shit. It's a beautiful singing babies for you soon. I want you to record them singing their own songs this time. So to get back to you, thanks, Gerald. Make sure you take out all of their organs this time. I don't want to install the speaker and have fucking blood on my hands. Oh my god. Oh yeah, okay. One. And search history. Let's do a uh, butchering of humans. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Yep. This is going right to the fax machine for the police. Yeah, that's an easy one. 
Oh my god. Uh, a 24 tonight? No, 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 not tonight. If once I make a thousand followers, I will plan one out. Um, but it could be soon. Oh, gee, that's not sketchy. No, uh, -uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Remy, you got it. Um, yeah, I do was sketchy as fuck to say the least. All right, cool. So this, point reason you play this game and not me. <laughs> That's also a fair point. So this is the last one for the night with three out of four. It is a female, brown hair, brown eyes, five foot, 35 to 45 years old, 120 pounds, we'll do 125, searching, searching, searching. All right, both are five feet. One is one on one, one's one on 33, 42, 41. Fuck, I think it's gonna be Latoya Kirby. We keep getting her, I don't know why. Oh, we've seen this, no, we've seen this exact one before. So let's go back to a car with two screaming kids under her arm. They kept screaming that they didn't want to go with her and she was just ignoring them. Yeah, I remember this one, but I don't remember if we got it right the last time. <laughs> Should be weird. Oh, let's get rid of that. That's that. No police records. She's got some social stuff there. And we'll check her phone. Gotta root kit it. Cracked it. All right. Search history, look, call place, fun, ba 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 ba. Yeah, I remember seeing all this already. The children still like the playground. I mean, I, motherfucker. You know what? I, I'm i pretty sure this is all good, and they're gonna say it's it's not good, even though it was good. I didn't check, no! I even said it was the last one for the night and I forgot to check the fucking windows. Son of a bitch. Yeah, this, this game is merciless. This is normal mode. I can't even play Nightmare if I want to because I have to beat it on normal to be able to play Nightmare. And I was talking to Nox earlier about it and only two people have ever beaten it on Nightmare. All right, we'll uh, restart night one. Night oh yeah, by the way, it's uh, it's permadeath. So, I remember seeing something about check windows. You did, and you probably said it out loud too. And you saw me drop the fucking file there, and you must have been like this idiot. Yeah, because if I just checked those windows first and made sure everything was good, then I walk back and take care of the file, we're good. But because it had been a while since I checked, there was probably a window that was unlocked or a light was out, anything like that. And the second that happens, I go to sleep, that means the kidnapper can get in. Tanner can also get in too at night. It's not as often, and I'm not 100% sure of how he gets in at night. Like what, I guess you have to check the cameras before you, oops, before you, you know, fucking piss off or something. All right, there we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to yeah. Check out those bolos. I'm gonna check shit. How about that? All right, there's our DMV database. Here's our report desk. We've got the root kit that goes underneath. There's the SIM database. Police records, debit, and social spy. All right. <clears throat> we got female, hair color of brown, eye color hazel. You know, she's between 20 and 25 years old. Justine Izakov. There she is. No alias. I think that's the one thing I don't like about this game. Like, why not have you physically go to bed? 
Well, it's it's supposed to like that's basically like okay, I'm going to bed now because my shift is over. And it does, but uh, it's to make it's to make sure that you're following what needs to be done. It's the whole point of these games. A lot of these games that Adam has made as part of Reflex Studios is that he wants to make games that are difficult. Um, and they are. Okay, got it. <clears throat> but that's a fair point, Shuffle. I found out about a model agency recruiter, Fletcher, through social media, but a friend of mine stopped at me before I reached out. Something about a lot of these agencies were fake and I should be cautious about what I said for it. I think it must have been repaired anyways. Fletcher's very professional, very sharp, said I had the looks and then she put out the word about me if I agreed to do a shoot in Berlin. I was like, well, Berlin, a little too far, you know. I asked her more about it. She said it was an all-expensive paid trip that they would be doing shoots with me for the three weeks to cover their follow catalog you to ask more questions about the job and tell them that's when things are the worst she said there were plenty of other more beautiful girls in her list that would jump at her opportunity if i didn't want the job i need i need to tell her immediately i ended the conversation there and followed up with my friend if she knew if people had told anything similar and she said yes almost word for word when they reached berlin or moscow her parents don't come back after three weeks like they say she said she's known one girl who's been taken practically all around the globe but never allowed to come home this is justine isikoff this isn't a fletcher Grip watch and small shoulder bag. Drinks. And we got here. What can I say? I'm expensive. Modeling opportunity looking for guys and girls between the age of 18 and 20 for modeling job. Talks for your hottest headshots. I'll be in contact if I'm interested. Match today with my fave hotties. Dressed as fucks. I'm going to for a vacate. Ciao, babes. Take back photo creds, Lizzie. Ain't nothing great there. Search history. Let's get cool flights, Moscow flights to Berlin, popular clubs, check my profile views, self-defense classes, flights to Mexico City, nothing crazy there. On the phone, there's a jet, hanging somewhere, got some luggage. I just heard a light go out. I swear on everything, I just heard a light go out, it's when ting. Oh god, it's the one in the room that I'm in. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's make sure these windows are fucking Help. tap tap. Who the fuck just used that tree, you fucking prick? Oh my god. <sighs> fucking son of a bitch. Nearly just shit myself. That's locked. You know, he's off fucking clipping it. I know he is. That's good. That's good. All right. Back at it. All right, Corinne. Just seeing things for planning my job. I'm the photographer with headshots. I was just Moscow next week. And I'm actually screaming. I was paying for anything. It'll be just coming all expenses. Yes. Perf can't wait. Oh, nuts. Fuck, I gotta reroute it. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Text convos. El Capitan. We need to talk ASAP. I want a bigger cut. I deserve it. I got 20 other people doing the same exact thing you do. You're in special. We're in a place. We want to think of that over again. It's max 10. I know you're paying all of them a hell of a lot more than you're paying me. All the money you've made for my girls. Uh, rich luck. I can't get rid of you. Let's get me in where you fat fuck. You pay me the same amount you're paying all those. You can eat shit. Get back to when you come to your senses. You don't get to escape that easily. Ooh, El Capitan. Not home text later. Stupid, there's a man outside my damn window. Oh, what does he look like? Call the cops. Don't be a fucking pussy. <laughs> I hate you. are the worst best friend. We fucking like. It's probably the same guy from the other night. He's telling you, then fuck off. Who jets? Let's do something for his cops. I don't believe in that. Please don't tell me this is related to your stupid job. I'm literally moving out. I can't stand this. So Lizzie knows about the job, too. Unknown number says, what do you have for me? Twins at first. They both have like twigs. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That's, that's going in. We're done here. 
Holy a shit. Oh. Jack, has anyone told me? Told me what? How beautiful I am? Not lately. This is a male, black hair, and hazel eyes. And I'm gonna go check cameras. You are beautiful less than three. You are beautiful less than three. Well, thank you. Appreciate you, Knox. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my sound. What the fuck, Soma? I'm bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Laser! Happy Jugiversary. Mmm. Thank you for the 12 months, a full year of you being subscribed here. Holy shit, Laser. Thank you. Really appreciate your support and your friendship and our goofy conversations that we have in Candy's stream. <laughs> All right, this is good. Everything is rap tap, rapity tap tap, okay. On with the action now. I'll strip your pride. Satan. I'll spread your blood around. I'll see you ride. Your face is scarred with steel, wounds deep and neat. Like a double dozen before you, smells so sweet. Am I evil? Yes, yes I, I am. am. Am I evil? I am man. man. Great fucking reference, love it. No police records, that's good. <laughs> the fuck out of here with that shit. No results found there. Debit card, police record. Okay, to get this to his phone now. Rappy tap. <clears throat> oh, I thought that sounded familiar. Nine Child Street. Good call, Soma. And how is my sweet Satan today? How do you get noticed on sounds soundsloud.com? How do you make my phone pictures? Vegan, vegan, tour van rentals, drums rental cheap. Okay. That looks like effects. We fried porch drink with my buddies when we saw this freaky looking young man walking down Crooked Hill Road, wearing some tattered clothes and what had looked like blood in his face. And buddy, buddy, my buddy yelled, we, we, we buddy yelled, what did you lose a fight, tall guy? That doesn't do anything. He didn't say anything back to us, but he flipped us the bird trying to get more of a reaction. One of the other friends said, oh, did the little pussy tall guy get his ass beat so bad he forgot how to talk? It's got the guy's attention. He spun around and said something in a demonic voice sounding like, want to die tonight, fucker? It will shut up pretty quick after the guy pulled that card from his sleeve. A little banter is one thing. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. So you possess shit the guy pulled, I think, broke that rule. Whole thing killed the rest of the night for me and the gang. Well, I, you started it. Uh, it's, I think it's fake blood. Uh, black jeans. I just heard a fucking light go out. Mondo Marty's got cans of something. Let's check cams. Cams and cans and cans and cams. Wait, they sure that fucking asshole is come running through my fucking yard. All right, let's go. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, laser, do Jugtober, not the donate link. I'm sorry. Rap, tap, Fuck. Tap. Why would you do it again? I hate you. <laughs> Fun Bruins game tonight. I love games where you get really pissed off and they win. Hell yeah, those are those are the best ones. Yeah, thank you, Laser. I'm sorry. I meant to get rid of that fucking old uh, donate command. You don't really. I don't personally use that one anymore. I mean, like, I don't think anyone else really uses it anyways. Everyone gets their fucking fill with the <laughs> sound alerts and blurps, obviously. There isn't a clickable link. There is one in there. But it sometimes doesn't work on mobile. Okay, it doesn't work on mobile. If you scroll down to the about section, there should be a um there should be a panel down in the about section that you can use right in there. Um if that yeah, if that doesn't work, um actually you know what? I'll just resend mobile. You you can't go to the about section on mobile? I swear I could. 
I'll send it again. Does this does this work? Can you click that? Yeah, great minds think alike. Look at that. Oh, it's time, baby. You'll put it in a thingy. Speaking of thingies, heavy fucking hand swings is here. This guy just got a new fucking cool job. And he's playing Clone Hero. Or was playing Clone Hero. Oh, that's an old fucking... I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. That's an old clip. He was beating the shit out of his ball bag, correct. Welcome in, Heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, Heavy, my beautiful fucking boy? Oh, I hate that. Oh, sorry. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Raiders. I, most of you that are coming over from Heavy's... Uh, stream and raid you probably know who i am if you don't i'm jug i'm a horror streamer um we're raising money for charity this month um can we clone hero soon absolutely uh we're raising money for hope for the day there's a link in chat there if you'd like to fc beast blind let's fucking go i i kept screwing up the uh the slides uh, we've actually raised over $1,300 this month, getting very close to $1,400 to give away a Steam game. So if you're interested in donating, there's a link in the chat. You can also scroll down to the About section. Um, there'll be a panel there. If you're on mobile and you're having issues with either of them, let me know. We can always just try to repaste the link in there. It's uh, it's really annoying that mobile does that, and I apologize. For, uh, but... Um, I'm happy to help if you're if you need to. Holy shit, laser! Fucking laser just waltzed on in here, and just donated a hundred fucking dollars. All right. Uh, so who wants to fucking win a Steam game today? Thank you so much, laser. Holy shit. Okay, time the fuck out of scrutinize. We got some work to do, everybody. All right. I love Steam. I love you. Okay. Let's uh let's go through this. So Yes, thank you, Laser. I love you more. Wow. Um, so we're gonna give away a Steam game, okay? Uh here's how it's gonna work. I usually um do King of the Pit, which is a really easy chat integrated program we're going to open that up um however let me just change the music really quick because it's a mosh pit and this is not a mosh pit song uh no disrespect to um massive attack at all because i do very much enjoy this however just because heavy's here and just because he mentioned it I should have, did not want to take away from the raid though. You're way fucking cooler than I am. Don't sweat it. Oh, stop it. Not fucking even. <laughs> All right. Uh, King of the Pit. You do it. There's no law. Yes, I am very proud of Heavy today as well. Heavy went out and got a fantastic new job today. So big congrats to Heavy in the crowd, in the, in the chat. Fucking Satan's already trying to throw bottles. They haven't even started yet. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let me just mute this game really quick. Because I think when I switch over, you're still going to be able to hear it. Broken hearts and broken bones. We will live and die alone. Yo, Spleen, what up, dude? I haven't talked to you in a hot minute. How you doing? Rather devilish behavior. Okay. Follow me. So, easy. I'm going to hit Let's Mosh. You're going to have a minute and a half to do exclamation point dance to get into the pit. 
And then after that, the pit will start. You will have a mod share in there. You don't have control of them. It's all randomized. But you can do exclamation point bottle while the pit's going. And they'll be bo you'll throw a bottle into the pit trying to hit somebody. And it does take health away. Uh, we had one of these earlier this month. It was down to two people. A bottle came and hit someone in the head and knocked them out. And that was it. Not yet Satan. <laughs> but now. All right. Exclamation point dance enter. This is a free steam game giveaway. You don't got to sign up for anything I don't want your credit card. I don't want your social security number your mom's maiden name your first dog's name None of that bullshit. This is a free game 100% free All you're gonna do is do exclamation point dance. You don't even have to throw a bottle But you probably should because Satan will be pissed if you don't So far we got Satan Soma Kois is here. Hey Kois Heavy shuffle spleen tree and laser V-Sync. No V-Sync. Make sure you ask Jug if V-Sync is enabled. It's enabled. I promise. God damn it. Ooh, it's starting to get chilly out. Holy fuck. I oh, should I don't want to piss off Satan. Yeah, no. Come to the yard. Alright, we got about less than a minute left. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> We got 80 you in here. We got 22 people in chat. Only got eight moshers. Come on, get in here. This is a free game. Lurkers, wake up! Exclamation point dance, and then go back to lurking. You got like 23 seconds. That is wholesome. Tree's pretty wholesome. <laughs> All right, we're down to the last 10 seconds. Anybody else? Any other stragglers? Exclamation point dance. Last chance. Get in here, bitches. See you in the pit. Here we go. Throw them bottles and your arms and your legs. Spin kick. If only spin kick worked. They'd be beating the fuck out of each other. All right, I maximized the health, by, a way, uh, by the way, so it lasts longer. Let's see who gets knocked out first. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, it's heavier spleen! Heavier spleen! And Heavy wins! Oh no! Heavy has to pick a game! <laughs> oh man, Satan was going nuts with the bottles. Love it. Love it. Love it. Awesome. So let's see. Heavy, my dear. You get to choose between a couple games here. <laughs> Sorry, son. <laughs> All right, so you got five games to choose from. Actually, there's two of them I think you'd be interested in at least. The other three, I don't think so, but we'll see. First and foremost, we have Amnesia the Bunker. That's the newest Amnesia game that came out this year. It was really good. Uh, the Beast Inside, a nice story horror game. A really interesting story. Um, and a cool way to tell it. Uh, then is the Convenience Store, the first Chilla's art game that I ever played. Uh, really good um, Japanese horror, uh, low graphics, uh, just really fantastic short horror experiences. <laughs> Visage? No. <laughs> it's going to be nope to all of them. So maybe those first three were nopes, but the next two, Doom 2016, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Whichever ones you want. <laughs> The scariest one is the Soma dating sim. Oh, God. Shoes, what's up, dude? Yo, speaking of people that did a great job raising money. Yo, Shoes, you and, and Jeff and your whole group did a fucking fantastic job. I would hold your hand so hard, shush. <laughs> All right, Heavy, which one is it? I'm assuming you don't want Amnesia the Bunker. You don't want the Beast Inside. You don't want the convenience store. You're gonna want either Doom 2016 or Dying Light 2 Stay Human. You pick between the last two. Well, which one have you played? Have you not played either of them? You'll stream it? Oh, well, now I'm gonna see you get fucking mad. You're gonna play Doom. <laughs> Although Doom Eternal, I think, is a harder game, but Doom 2016 is fucking awesome. All right, let's go to my heavy DM. Boom. Thank you so incredibly proud of everyone. I know it's dude. It's we're going through the same thing this month, and it is it's unbelievable. 
watching what these communities do for cool fucking you know things that we stand for as individuals you know we've all come together and we we do connect over it never played either wasn't a huge fan of dying light oh, okay i'm glad i gave you the doom game then yeah doom 2016 is one of my favorite like i want to say shooters it's maybe one of my favorite shooters of all time but i also grew up on doom so just realized that you duration mount still had the 69 cents oh you missed it earlier you missed it. it was battling back and forth for a while like last stream people it was going between like a dollar one versus a dollar 99 to get it to 70 cents or 69 cents and at one point it was at 12 69 69 <laughs> for like a solid 20 minutes it was so fucking funny <laughs> and you're welcome heavy right use my platform to help people is my ultimate goal fuck yeah dude the, the thing that I always tell people, I am a fat white dude with a PC and an internet connection. That's it. So if I can do something cool, let's do it. Like, getting involved in Channel 13 has been awesome. Being added into the CEOs of Scream's Twitch team has been fucking awesome. A third year of Jugtober has been awesome. I've been doing this for three fucking years now. Like, what the fuck? Dude, 2016 is a great game. Also, Rip Total Biscuit. His video sold me on buying it. Oh, wow. I don't think I know Total Biscuit, but may he, may uh, may they rest easy. And for clearly getting you the right game. Yeah. I think I liked Doom 2016 a little bit better than Doom Eternal, which is the sequel. But I still very much loved Doom Eternal. Don't get me wrong. So glad I met you. Proud fan and proud friend. No, no, I'm proud that I met you. I'm proud of you, sir. Very happy for you. Be right back and a fine snack. Yes, get a good snack. Meanwhile, so for the rest of you, um, <clears throat> we're playing a really interesting game here, which I have played before. I have actually played this game. Uh, last Chugtober, I think I played it. Um, not the first Jugtober, I don't think, but my first ever stream, October 30th, 2020, exactly three years ago to the day I played this game, and I'm doing just as well now as I did then. Not good. <laughs> so you don't know who Total Biscuit is? This is him. Oh, that the lol guy? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know he passed away. That sucks. Oh, well, thank you, Shelf, for giving me the information. Game reviewer and previewer had a harshness similar to Yahtzee of zero punctuation. Koi, so I don't know who that is either, but I'm just gonna smile and nod. Smile and nod. <laughs> but th thank you, yeah, rest in power for sure. Yes, I do. Maybe not by name then. You've probably sent me a ton of their videos, Tree. Oh my, to not know ZP. Hey man, I... <laughs> For the longest time, the only content creators I knew that existed that I, like, gave two shits about was, like, Jacksepticeye and Markiplier. That's all I knew. I've shared his reviews in group chat. Okay, then I've probably seen his stuff before. You don't know who Zero Punctuation is? I guess not by name. Good, now Laser's all mad at me. Well, good, let me go die in this game. You can all make fun of me and keyboard cat me. Um... Oh, this dude, he like, gonna wanna fight or some shit. I'm gonna shoot today, blah, blah, blah. You wanna female fans? Oh, for sure. You look super hot as a zombie. Damn it. Internet went out again. Fucking internet. I need to go reset the router in the back room. Good thing this is closed circuit television to look outside of my property. All right. A lot of content creators, so it's hard to keep track of them all. That's it's honestly, yeah, for sure. Especially since, um, I mean, granted, I, I would love to see, like, if they were able to track like active accounts, um, on just specifically Twitch. We'll leave it at that, right? Is how many new accounts started during lockdown, and how many of those accounts are still around today? I would wager probably not that much, and I forgot to fucking restart the router! Son of a bitch. 
Now you know who he is. You just don't recognize the name, I bet. All right, for sure. There's no way you don't know him. Right, that's fair. That whole fucking point of me coming back here is to reset this fucking router, and I forgot. <laughs> that's the second time I've done that tonight. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, and really quick points, everybody, too. So, obviously, I did a lot of talk about Jugtober, a lot of talking about my the stream anniversary, and how it's technically today. Fuck you, Tanner. Stay in the closet. Literally. I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything otherwise. <laughs> uh, send you an example to check out after stream. Thank you very much, Kois. Appreciate you. So, yeah. Eh, next doing the shoot, say you killed it. You have to know you're a widow by now, right? No, I know that's not real. So that... That doesn't seem too bad. The pictures we've seen, okay. His costume, yeah, dude, this is a misunderstanding. Shred it. Okay. Now we're gonna check again. Oh, that was you? Fucking tree. Throw the boredom up in there, that's what I would do. Yeah, that'd be good. It's funny, you just keep him in there, he won't come out, but if you open the door, he'll jump at you and he'll kill you. Oof, time for bed. Have a good night. Satan, have a lovely evening, my friend. Thank you for dropping in. Glad you had a good time at the Bruins game. Go fucking bees, baby. Um, and uh, yeah, get some good sleep. Have a good day tomorrow. Tomorrow is hopefully Tuesday and not Monday 2.0 for anybody, for that matter. But yeah, I always appreciate when you're here, my dude. All right, we are switching up. We have a female aged 40 to 45. Uh, black hair, blue eyes, five foot six, 150 pounds. We don't know the name. Well, there's only one to pick from. Uh, Alethea Rose, I think that's how you pronounce that name. No alias. Alethea Rose. Thank God for copy-paste in this game working. No police records. We got one thing from the debit database and no socials. Let's crack the phone. Light just went out. Okay. A light definitely just went out. I'm going to check the cameras really quick and then go check for what light just went out because I heard it click. So the one I'm sitting in, that's not good. Locked. Locked. Okay. Let me do a, do a quick uh, run through and make sure everything's still looking good because anytime there's one light, there could be two or more. Like I said, the reason we do this is because once the light is off, it gives the opportunity to a kidnapper to pick the lock on my window and get in here and fucking kidnap me, which I don't want. So here we go. All right, moving forward. Uh, okay, I had a new neighbor moving yesterday and she's crazy. I thought at first she was doing some light renovating remodeling of the home, but she's just busting holes in walls, tearing up floorboards. Sounds like a construction site, but looks like it's just her without a demolition crew. I mean, for crying out loud, it's a new home. You think she, when she bought the place, it would have been her dream home. If she wasn't satisfied with the state of the residence, she should have kept house, ser house searching. This is your fucking... Why does this bother you? Sledgehammer, shovel, hammer, and a chisel, three pieces. That's all she purchased. Archaeologist, the most famous archaeological dig spots around the world. Rare locks lost to time. Oops. Untouched tombs and mausoleums. Preservation guidelines when dealing with old bones. Best ways to break down walls using metal tags on floors, walls, and ceilings. Geocaching to find geocaches. Lost Queen Cerebell. To keep doing whatever it takes, no matter what the cost is. That's sketchy. Laws starting without withholding evidence about a murder that's sketchy case where archaeologists interfere with criminal investigations that's also sketchy okay all right bones uh jesus fucking christ it scared the fuck out of me heavy 
Holy fuck, dude. Thank you so much. $20 fucking donation from Heavy Hand Swings himself. He says, have you ever thought about streaming something that doesn't scare me? Um, I mean, I've streamed Clone Hero. I've streamed Jackbox. We had to do a Jackbox night soon, by the way. But uh, with that, that officially breaks $1,500. $1,500 this year in Jugtober alone, which means that is a Ghost Pepper redemption. Whoops, when I bought my home last year, I changed something about it too. I must be a murderer, y'all. Oh no. Oh no, I made things happen. You did. We broke $1,500. Um, we were up to. $1,506.69. Now, give me just a second. I need to log into my Google DTS Drive. Brian here. Did I do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Not that one. Where is it? Uh, okay, October 2023 spreadsheet found. <clears throat> Hello? What happened? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so, here's what we got so far that we've, we've completed. We did, so $100 was a scrutinized, scrutinized stream, which we're doing right now. $200 was Jackbox Community Stream. We haven't planned it yet. It's going to be after my vacation next week for sure. Discounted sound alert stream, same thing. Uh, blurps and sound alerts are going to be cheaper for one stream. Uh, we had a Steam game giveaway at 400. Uh, the Exorcist VR stream. Uh, so I ended up having some some issues last minute and got them resolved, and then something else happened, and then um, I fucked up my well, I, my foot was going through a gout episode again, so I didn't want to I didn't want to ruin it. Um, so I actually am going to push that off as well, but we are going to do it. I'm not going to just creep away. Uh, we had another Steam game giveaway at $600. We had a merch giveaway at $700. It was one of each of the new items that came out this year. If you're interested in checking out merch, if that's something you'd be interested in, uh, x wish point merch. Uh, it'll pop the link in chat for you. Uh, there were 12 new items on top of the four from last year. Um, for those of you, since you know Heavy, came here in the raid, you may know Wheeler Dealer. Wheeler Dealer actually won a beanie, and he took a picture of it, and he put it up on his Discord and it looks really fucking cool. I think it came out good. Uh, we had a Steam game giveaway at $800. $900, we uh, unlocked the Blackphone Grabber cosplay stream. So I'll be doing the cosplay tomorrow, actually, for Halloween. Uh, $1,000 was the 2x Spicy Ramen Noodle Challenge. We are doing that Friday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, that'll be my lunch that day. <laughs> $1,100 uh, unlocked the Jug Senior stream, or as a lot of you know here in chat, he goes by, quote, Die Trump Die. Uh, he will be coming on stream and playing some games and potentially doing some hot sauces with me. So that'll be fun. There's another Steam game giveaway at $1,200. Welcome to, the, welcome to the Game 2 stream at $1,300. That is a game made by the same developer, and that game is more dark than this. Um... That we had fourteen hundred dollars we gave away that Steam game giveaway, and now at fifteen hundred dollars is the Ghost Pepper Challenge. Next up is the sixteen hundred dollars Steam game giveaway, which another one we still have what four more to give away. After that is a huge one that a lot of people, including a one so much extra, has been pushing for and has already mentioned in the chat. Only two hundred dollars more for the sweatpants stream. <laughs> But uh, the Ghost Pepper Challenge, um, let me go ahead and pop this open really quick, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So, these are Ghost Pepper, whole Ghost Chili Peppers. They are dried. They are arguably, uh, according to the pros and the experts, dried peppers are spicier than fresh. Uh, it's difficult for me to find fresh peppers, especially this time of year. So I said, fuck it, I'll do dried. I'll, I'll fucking just deal with it. 
So it's actually, ooh, it's actually cheap, a little bit cheaper than it typically is. Look at that, lowest price in 30 days. Awesome. Um, but tell you what, I'm gonna pull that off. Because, have Dr. Dre do that with you? Oh no, it'd kill him. Yeah, that it'd straight up kill him. I can't. He already told me. I wasn't going to have him do the hot sauces, by the way. He agreed to do the hot sauces, but he wants a bunch of wings made up first. And we'll put the sauce on the wings like we do with the um, the last dab challenge and all that stuff. Or the, the hot ones challenge. So uh, these are going to come in between November 2nd and 6th. So some, sometime this week. Um... But yeah, we'll uh we'll go plant some when I get back from my vacation. Wait, what? What does my cart look like? Why is there that much? Oh, there's five items. I'm like, I'm not spending over fifty dollars to kill myself with these. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of stuff that the wifey was adding in. I'll just put in the save for later. Yeah, ten dollars is a much better. Th yeah, okay. So it's the Wicked Tickle 10 whole ghost pepper dried intact seed pods plus two free. Oh, so you got 12 whole fucking ghost peppers. Yikes. I would suck so many dicks to be a part of that stream. What the fuck? Mood? <laughs> oh, God. Soma. <laughs> But yeah, so the gray sweatpants stream is is not too far off and we have uh, Well, we're, we're almost I, we're gonna be wrapping up stream in a little bit I'm gonna get this is my last run of the game for sure uh, For tonight um, But yeah, just to give you all a heads up of what else is along the way there after the gray sweatpants VR stream at $1,700 if we had reached these stretch goals it'd be Fucking outrageous. $1,800 is another Steam game giveaway. $1,900 is a clone hero stream, but I have to play lefty mode, which would suck. $2,000 is a Toe of Satan challenge. It is a lollipop shaped like the Toe of Satan. Awful. I actually don't want to do it. I'm cool if we don't get there. $2,100, I do a makeup stream where Amanda would actually do my makeup. However, she feels fit. I don't know. She could do it. $2,200 is a Steam game giveaway. Uh, $2,300 is an embarrassing childhood photos I would then post out to social media. $2,400 is the final Steam game giveaway. And then $2,500, which is the end all be all stretch goal, that is a Carolina Reaper challenge. Uh, again, I hope I don't have to do that. But it'd be for a good cause, I guess. God, if you get to the makeup stream, please give me Amanda's phone number. Wow, it's aggressive. <laughs> I will get you in touch with her if that if, if that is to happen. All right, let's get back into the game. We uh. Oh, it's oh my goodness! Fucking butt cheeks in here now! Holy shit! Butt cheek Bo himself. Are you playing buried? Jiggly oh melons, welcome in. Oh my god. Yo, Bo, we gotta talk. Maggers, welcome in, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Maggers, melons, nice. and Bo. That's awesome. Without spoiling, awesome how is buried? Oh shit, Candy's here. Everyone hide. <laughs> Welcome in Candy. If you guys aren't following Candy, Candy is the yin to my yang in terms of content creation. Um, if you like watching the salt party that is League of Legends, if you like watching you know, if you like, uh, the puzzle games, uh, you got the Mask Monday streams, um, and quite a few like 24 hour streams. She goes fucking hard. Uh, Drop her a follow if you haven't. Um, be she's on usually during the daytime US area. Um, but yeah, fantastic streamer for sure. Not scuffed. I know she's going to say that she's scuffed. She's not scuffed. Hides. <laughs> it was short. Okay, I guess short's not, pro not a problem. It's like two and a half bucks. That's not too bad. But if it was good, then I'm happy. Candy is the fucking best, for sure. 
Bo brought candy to my stream one time. I was fucking hammered on stream one night a couple years ago, and her and Baked Potato, actually, for that matter. Candy goes hard. Oh, oh hard. <laughs> oh, so hard. <laughs> so close to the sweatpants stream. It is true. Oh, my God. Someone please donate 100 USD. <laughs> it's 200. Buried was creepy. I may have nightmares, and I really have nightmares. Ooh. Well, welcome in streamers. Brought you the sweatpants stream. <laughs> if you don't know who I am, um, I am one of the fellow Channel 13 members with ButtCheekBo23. And if you haven't checked out Channel 13, please do. It's a fantastic group of small horror streamers like ourselves, uh, just providing our content the best way we can. And one of our good friends over the pond in the UK, his name is Breakfast at Noon. He does all the video editing and puts up these jump scare compilations and he is busting his ass to get that channel monetized. <clears throat> now, um, if you don't know me, you can call me Jug, Juggernaut, The Juggernaut, however you want to go about it. Just don't call me the fraud or not. Uh, the jugger nut, I guess, is fine if you want to do that. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a horror streamer through and through. Um, it, I'd say about 99% of my content is all horror. And uh, the other bit is some stuff just to kind of break up the monotony that is horror at, on occasion. Uh, this month is a very, very... No jugs and tugs. I'm not Robert Kraft. Y'all can also call him daddy. You could. You could. Jugs, if it wasn't in my dumb currency, I would drop it now. Oh, well, Candy, you do so much to support us anyways. Don't worry about that. Stop frauding. That wouldn't be such a fitting nickname. Wow. Ridiculous. Speaking about not frauding anybody. Jugtober's this month, and we're wrapping it up after tomorrow night. Well, technically it's Halloween now where I'm. It's one in the morning, Eastern time. <clears throat> um, so... We raise money here during the month of October, which is my stream anniversary month. Today is actually my stream anniversary. Oh shit. Shuffle with the $10. Thank you so much, Shuffle. That is so fucking generous of you. Thank you so much. That says for candy. Oh, that's very nice. Look at that. We all got, we're all friendly here. Oh, and uh, that reminds me. A $10 donation is a bourbon toast that you get to write. So shuffle right into chat something you want me to toast to, and I will toast to it. Even if it's just you, I'll do it. And not just you. I know that sounded terrible now that I think back on it. <laughs> bourbon. I'm just like spore channeling through me. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Well, I call my friend with benefits that name. It makes him happy. Oh, my word. <laughs> a bourbon toast. Yes. All the FWBs are daddies. Oh, my word. You don't know, you know anything you want. It's okay. Um, but yeah, so really quick back to my spiel. Uh, so Jugtober, is, we raise money for Hope for the Day all month long. And if you don't know Hope for the Day, they're a nonprofit. They specialize in uh, mental health services. Uh, specifically towards suicide awareness and prevention. We are currently at $1,516.69. Nice. And uh, yeah, we're trying to push a little bit further. We just reached 1,500 a short while ago, thanks to Heavy Hand Swings, who's going to bed now. Love you too, Heavy. Get some sleep. And uh, congrats again to Heavy on his new job that he got, uh, he got offered today. He's going to fucking rule that place. <clears throat> Love to everyone. Okay, I can do that. I can do that real good. That's an easy one. Fry was out here earlier making me have to toast a welcome to the game too, what I have to play eventually. But yeah, we just crossed $1,500, which is a uh, ghost pepper challenge. So I just ordered through Amazon a bag of 12. 12. Why 12? They couldn't just send me one. I don't know. They are dried ghost peppers <clears throat> wish i had me some bourbon too i got some good one this is this is good um so my wife amanda got this for me um as part of our anniversary gift so we we celebrated our anniversary um earlier this month and it's our fourth year anniversary so um it's either the tradi tradition is 
for the gifts um, uh, as appliances or something fruit oriented. And she was like, I think this one was a stretch, but I think you'll like it. And I was like, hell yeah. So she got me a four pack of uh, a cranberry wheat ale that was really good. They're long gone. But this here is the Cleveland Underground's bourbon whiskey finished with apple wood. There it is right there. Pretty decent. I like it. <laughs> Your poor butthole. Oh, I want to be married one day. It can, ha it can happen. You know, if that's something that you look for, you want to do in life, you know, you'll find someone that wants that too, and you'll get there. I trust in you, Jiggly. So we're going to send you and Amanda our local hot sauces. I twist my fucking arm, Candy. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, his butthole is probably numb by now. Wow. That's aggressive. His butthole is immune. My butthole is a fucking virgin. You be nice to that butthole. Anywho. This goes out to all, apparently 47 of you are in here. Holy shit. Thank you, so many raids tonight, so much support tonight. Um, I mean, it's all, every time, every time I fucking get on this this platform and just stream whatever the hell I'm doing on here. Uh, so much, so much fucking support. And I don't mean just monetary, I don't mean the donations, I mean just being here and just watching this fucking fat white guy with a PC and internet connection play video games and scream his fucking head off. So thank you all, thank you for being here, thank you for three years, for something that I was just doing for shits and giggles, playing Phasmophobia with some friends of mine, and for some reason I got affiliated in a few months and was like, oh, I guess I'll actually try now, and here we are. So, cheers to you, I love you all, loved uh, everybody, I, 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 I can sit here and list everybody out, but just love you all, thank you. Oh, cheers. <laughs> uh -huh. Things are progressing well with my FWB, so here's hoping. I'll cross my fingers to that. I thought Zonam owned your butthole. No. No, he just likes to play with it. Hey, there is, buddy. Love you, Jugs. Thank you. You know, Butt Cheek's been around for a fucking hot minute. Fucking hot minute. And uh, it was awesome getting to meet him right as... Right as Channel 13 was starting to become a thing. I think I met I, I met him uh, with uh, Distorted Views, or Dizzy for short, and uh, Star Lily. We had a good fucking time playing Bigfoot and stuff. That was something else. Thank you, Candy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laser. <clears throat> Love to all of you. Oh, um, I'm going to go through. I'm going to keep playing this last run of this game. Um... But before I get back into it, and we'll eventually have to wrap up, if you are not currently following this stream, and this content is something that you dig, and you want to make sure you know when I come live again, hit that follow button. You know it's free. You've been on Twitch before. This isn't your first, maybe it is your first time. Maybe you just learned what the follow button is. But either way, smash that fucking follow button. We are at 980 followers. We are 20 away from 1,000. When we hit 1,000 followers, I have to do a 24 24 hour stream, I almost said 24,000 hour stream. I'm like, no, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> 24 hour stream. So I must be off to bed, I've been up an hour past my bedtime, got work in the morning, everyone. Oh, Jiggly, thank you so much for coming through. Appreciate you, thanks for coming through on the raid. Thanks for the quick couple laughs. And uh, good luck with your FWB. I hope things work out in your favor. I hope you have a great day tomorrow and I hope you have some great sleeping dreams tonight. Thank you so much for dropping in. Cheers, buddy. You've come a long way from the first couple of streams. It's true. It's very true. Treebeard was here for the first one. He was here for that first scrutinized stream. And I'm pretty sure that clip that exists, the first jump scare ever, is me being scared of the default follower notification. Because I had no idea what the fuck it was. <laughs> Jug's pro streamer now? No. 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 Again, I'm just a fat white guy with a PC and internet connection. That's it. That's all I got. All right, let's uh, let's see how long I can last through this. Oh, I should get some suspect pictures here. Another warehouse. I'm gonna get quite tired of this. Find of a lifetime. We so found the coordinates. Oh, last year I took part of the remains of the poor fellow to do. I took part of the remains of the poor fellow to do some radiocarbon testing. It was also some other tests finally supposed to have been deceased for up to one to five years and added to it all these bones just there was a struggle time of death knife marks and other means that were used to end them are they from graves tombs have you been killing us and people left 
Sure you knew these were not of the old but recent deaths. I never said I was killing anyone, but who knows? Maybe I have been. Does it really matter? You've gotten your hands dirty too. I remember you making that guard a relic for catching you a few sites ago on private property. You were quite creative in how you dealt with him. That's what I was able to personally monitor. Maybe your hands are dirtier than I can tell. I'm able to see all your activities, Miss Rose. Well, I see your point, but he was in my way. I tried to do such things if I can help it. 30 clues, 30 locations, 30 bodies. Last was the 29th and some some side damage along the way. I see your point. No sense of stopping after coming this far. Excellent. I think you found the new flowers and spot for our dear queen. Sure is coming to its end. How do you feel? My dear Rose, <clears throat> it's ready to be the last spot. Spent years playing your little game. -ish. The hot is dust and dust and da, 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 da. Oh my God! How many fucking texts are they sending? I must be quiet, but it's my home now, so I can't do it with it as I please. It's noise complaint you're worried about. It will be all over short, and that can stop me now. That's not what I'm worried about. It'll be. I'll be fine. I'll just be like all the other abandoned sites. This is a neighborhood. Be discreet. You have time. I'll try. That's sketch. Wendy. Two years since you left there, so you were the best. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna returning. Quite busy. Uh, for record, I didn't leave the society. They sent in my status and definitely due to certain disagreements. They'll be begging to have me back once I find what I'm after. Blah blah blah. It's a long story, Wendy. I'll tell you one day, perhaps over a cup of tea, they'll have a blah 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 blah. Remains of Queen Cerebell and her diadem. I think from her tomb was stolen, I'm following some breadcrumbs to find it. Uh, this doesn't sound too bad, but the fact that Leith said that is not good. And uh, laws surrounding withholding evidence about a murder. Yeah, I'm throwing that in there. I think that is going to be a send up, and that's the third of fourth. That's good. Gucci, Gucci. <clears throat> Giggity. I mean, you're a, a bit of ginger. Also, I don't need to play Buried now because it's already spoiled. <laughs> Jam, what's up, dude? Thanks for the lurk, man. Hope you're doing well. I'm assuming you're about to start stream. I hope it's a good one. I hope your your uh, your subathon's going well also. We're going to go check the cameras. Make sure that fucker Tanner's not trying to get into my goddamn yard. He's not. How about the kidnapper? I have no lights are off in the main area. Let's check all the rooms. Nope. It's the bathroom. There's no window. Oh, fuck. All right. No kidnapper here. But the light was off, so that's sketch. Window's locked. That's good. That's fine. Check these two again on the way out. All right, we're golden. <clears throat> Let's get back to work. All right. So we have a male with brown hair and brown eyes, aged 20 to 25, 5'6, 150 pounds. That's, well, there's a lot of similarities there. That was interesting. And let's see. 20 to 25, those are all solid. Let's see height, 5'6", it's gonna be these two. And 150 pounds, I'm saying it's Scott McPherson. Oh, we've dealt with this fucker before. Tree spying on a neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know this fucking douchebag. We, fu we fucking dealt with this guy before. In like three of our runs. What the fuck, he keeps coming back. No police record. That's right. I actually recall that. Family pharmacy. Uh, it's broken. It's not about capsules. Here's that. I feel like some people just deserve to die. If you know, if, if you know what I mean. Guy's a piece of shit. But yeah, like he was spying on someone from a tree and had an airsoft rifle with him. All right, we got that. Blow back pistol jamming constantly. How to make a silencer. Fucking feds fucking fuck up my operation. I'm so fucking high. He's got the picture of the guy on the side of the street and then some like remains he found in the woods. 
Yeah, this guy is a drug deal. Uh, Charlie was reaching out for him to buy drugs, and he was just like, go fuck your... Oh, he, I think he's called him a dead man. You're fucking fed, aren't you, you little cunt? You're dead, motherfucker. What? And then clean up, he said, I was high as a kite, now I have a kid next to me dead, and I need to clean up immediately. So, like, this, this is evidence. I can't... Like, and then the search history... Probably I'm so fucking high... We'll do that instead, okay? But they kept saying that this scan isn't good. They're saying this fax isn't good. <gasps> no! I didn't check the... Oh, I survived. Oh, shit. I didn't check the windows. The problem is if you do the last one of the night, if you don't check the windows and whatnot, and one window is unlocked, the kidnapper gets right in and he fucks your day up. Almost had a deja vu. Yep. Again. Oh, that was already locked. I'm really good at that tree. You know I'm really good at just not fucking doing the right thing. <laughs> just fucking it up. That's locked now. Oh. Okay. Oh, this light's off. Oh, open this, please. Thank you. Okay. That's locked. This is open, now locked. Oh my goodness. Locked. And last one is locked. Okay, perfect. Oh, night two. Now this is when the real fun starts. Oh, whoops. A couple of crack kits. We got two of them. Here we go. Okay. First report of the night. Joseph Chase. He is male. Age is unknown. Heights unknown. Weights unknown. Black hair. Green eyes. Joseph Chase. There he is. Found him. All right. Joseph Chase. Fuck. No police record found. Okay. That's most of the time, I feel. These people don't have anything. Let's get his phone. Oh, shit. Got him. Okay. Listen, I don't even want to be here, but my wife insisted my kid goes to John Hughes Secondary School. She's in the ninth grade and all that stuff. She came home two nights ago after a theater club rehearsal saying that one of her teachers was cutting a classmate's arm and filling up jars with their blood. Now, listen, she's always told crazy stuff, attention, but this takes the cake. She's saying that the teacher that's just got that Best Teacher of the Year award, Joseph Chase, was the one that did it. Same guy whose face has been plashed in the newspaper for the last few days. Can you believe it? Somehow she's got my wife convinced, but if you knew the tales my daughter has stirred up these past few years, you think the same as me. Make of it what you will. All right, so what does he say on his social media? He says, not the beast feeling of having you in class for so long, so I just started teaching, so my diamonds in the rough, smart girls and boys, they're fine, blah, 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 blah. Rich is finally right, everyone in my class has passed with an A, almost seems surreal, very proud of the kids, no doubt, next year will just be as great, if not better. Having to announce that the principal has asked me to take over the theater club this year, looks like we've got a talented group, so the sky's the limit. In the halfway mark, grades are going up, just got the news, I've been awarded Teacher of the Year, huge thanks to everyone that uh, helped make it happen. I'm still pinching myself. Nothing bad there. Pens, pens, dry erase markers. Bubble tea with extra tapioca. Mango slush bubble tea with extra tapioca. Nothing crazy there. Let's check his phone. School supplies, best use supplies. According to his therapist, best high school plays. Anniversary gifts, running anniversary gifts. How to powder blood. Sterile blood. New movies on VOD. Children's, children's blood's kind of weird. Uh, that's a syringe with blood in it. That is, that looks more like a drink than it would be blood. It's the theater. It's a classroom. Nothing too awful there, but here's the good stuff. Why don't you give me, give me out? Hell, I can't. Can you give me for coffee? I don't think coffee. Do you know what boba is? Not quite sure, but I'm sure you can tell me. Just send me the location and time I'll be there. Of course, keep my promise. You did your part. I'll do mine. Just make sure to hide those cuts until they heal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hope you're starting to feel better now after yesterday. I feel very good, really good about helping you out. Usually the idea of doing blood scares me. Knowing it helps you, well, helped me. Did you really mean it 
when you said I could get lead role if I helped you? Oh, that's sketchy. Okay. Therapist. Joseph, you don't get out of me the next hour. I will assume you're drinking a student's blood again. I'll be forced to alert the police. They won't take you to see the sanctuaries again. This time we'll go to jail. Do you understand me, Joseph? Call my wife now, seriously? Joseph, you made a promise that you'd make it to our weekly appointments for your own sake. Well, if I miss the you tell on my fucking wife, is that it? Does she know you're giving me therapy for exactly? Of course not. I promise she still thinks it's for stress. I can't promise I'll stay that long if you keep missing these appointments, however, it's for your sake again. You just say shit like that. My job's in line, my marriage, my reputation. You can't, you can't really do that either. It's breaking some sort of patient doctor confidentiality, isn't it? Joseph, cover with you here, please. You know, I don't think I need a therapist anymore. I'm feeling considerably better. Joseph, this isn't a joke. Oh, boy. I was just called to see you. Excuse me. Again, imagine my surprise when he said again. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I got caught up at work again. It's only Monday. You're a teacher. I'm a doctor. I'm the cure for cancer. Call today and come home, okay? I can't have the stack of so much. Okay, yeah. So we're going to give James the therapist and Ella the student. And I'm fucking sending this in. It's good. Cameras and windows. Cameras and windows. Make sure no one's coming in to kill us. Because that would be really mean. Oh, fuck. Boy, I just felt a fucking gust of wind through my open window, and that borderline just caused me to pee my pants. Make fun of me as you will. Now I gotta say, as difficult as this game is on normal, and I've never beaten on normal, and I don't know if I ever will, but there's just something about this game that just, even though it's not an old game, it's three years old, it already feels nostalgic to me, just because of how much I played this game early on, and then like, I keep coming back to it on random occasions. Rare random occasions, but I always feel it right at home when I go to play again. Okay, Matt Walker, he's male, you know, nothing else, black and, well, black hair and brown eyes. Matt Walker, this game has always scared you. Yeah, Yo, it's, it's fucking loud. Like, you have to have the volume up loud so you can fucking hear people. And hear cues like that, even though it's somehow not a cue. We has a police report. Holy shit. No social media. Okay, we had a family dinner in the backyard tonight, and Matt came outside to relieve some steam, I think. We saw us in our yard before anything happened. When he went into his garage, we could hear him tearing the place apart. An average person would have considered themselves in front of, would have contained themselves in front of others, but instead he unloaded that anger a few feet away from us, and that just wasn't right. Okay. I reports multiple cars racing on depot. Ba 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 ba. Officer Brian was about 12 cars in the media area. There appeared to be lined up for subsequent races. And flashing my lights, the and all previously stationary vehicles drove off. Fell behind a, uh, a great chance for a Bonda Trivic. Bonda Trivic. As it turned out to Pearl Street, cross over the double line. I'm traveling multiple times, turning down Washington Ave. Around the corner, it was clear to me that the vehicle was fleeing at a higher rate of speed as they passed by all traffic. Upon close the distance between myself and the suspect's vehicle, I was able to see two individuals inside the vehicle. It appeared that the passenger had something in his left hand, was weakly looking behind. The suspect then turned left onto Western Avenue. At this point, I assumed that they would be trying to gain access to the I 47 highway. I found past it. The suspect braked and came to an almost full stop before attempting to make a U turn in the middle of Western Ave. At this point, that I and supporting officers boxed in the suspect's vehicle, forced the driver and passenger to surrender. Both passengers were detained at that time, and the vehicle was searched, but nothing was found. Driver Matthew Walker was arrested and charged with reckless driving and evading the police. Walker's vehicle was depending pending a safety check. His passenger, Kale Williams, was released and sent in his way following the investigation. Uh, he got uh, tarps. He's got uh, Dewaki 18 gauge Brad Nailer cordless. Oh, it's a nail gun. Uh, nails and sodium hydroxide. Okay. Go away. He also got water storage barrel, 55 gallon drum. All right, let's check his phone. That's, the phone is usually where you get like the real important stuff, I find. Oops. Okay. Face recognition on CCTV, route to Canada with no tolls. Okay, that's not that bad. Electric car rental Canada, not too bad. Face recognition on CCTV is sketch. 
pictures. That's the silenced weapon. Those are the drums. Um, that's a bloody body by some other guy. That's the, I looked at the pictures. Text convos. Boss. Well, I was having trouble understanding the new buzzer charge. Do you mind hitting over to 30th and 6th just to clear things up? Don, I'm glad you were able to work things out. It said you left your bag over here the other night. So I finally went home to pick it up on my way. Also, when you get here, come into the back. I have some tools you'll need for the next job. Okay, so there's nothing crazy there. Plumber. If what else we left, I can take care of that back to dream. If it still has a problem, say around 2 p.m. on Friday. Let me know if it works for you. Friday is good. I'll be there then. Nothing bad there. Uncle Pete. We'll see for a couple weeks. That back room still open. If you don't mind moving some boxes around, a couple of spiders sharing the room with you. Yeah, sure. Come on down. I appreciate Uncle Pete. Hey, wise guy, it's the least I could do. Plus, your mom would kill me if she heard I turned you away. If not, her karma would for sure. Same rules as last time. No guns in front of the kids. A mandatory family dinner on Sunday. Jackie's cooking only got worse since the last time you were here. So work on your poker face on the ride down. So, uh, I mean, Facebook on CCTV, the police report, they're interesting. Like, he's probably... Yeah, what is he angry about? Like the fact that he got arrested on back in 10 30, 2010? I mean, this is a decade later. I think I'm gonna fucking shred it. I don't feel like this is a big deal. I was fucking wrong. That's okay. I mean, I don't get it. Like, what in there was suspect? The guy, you, people can get angry. Being angry is not a problem. It's how you react when you're angry that's the problem. And now, was he breaking his own shit? Probably, but I didn't see a goddamn thing in any of it that basically told me that he was going to have problems. And he was going to cause harm to himself or others. You know? I don't know. It just seems weird. All right, good. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and golden. All right, next report, Claire McNeil. We've seen that name before tonight. 25 to 30 years old, 5'6", 125 pounds, female, brown hair, and gray eyes. Oh, for fuck's sakes, the internet went out. I was just back there. It must have happened while I was, I mean, obviously it had to have happened while I was back here. Son of a bitch. All right, let's restart the router. Oh, Cynthia, thank you. Make sure you stretch out those creamy hamstrings. Oh, creamy hamstrings. Oh, Ooh. thank you. <laughs> Nothing else. Great. Let's get back to work. Okay. Uh, we didn't find her. We actually didn't have internet, but now we do. There she is. Claire McNeil. No alias. Claire McNeil. No police record. Has some debit card information and no, uh, what do you call it there? No social media. Let's get the phone hacked. My bad. Claire is a horse person. She likes them and goes to check on them every day. Recently after her boyfriend broke up with her, she stepped for one day, but was then declared missing. She's been acting extremely strange lately, and I suppose it's only a matter of time before the truth comes out. People have been saying she killed him, kidnapped him, all sorts of things. I hope you can find the truth and clear her name, because I know Claire isn't a murderer. Oh, well, apparently we have fucking Carol Baskins over here. So we got horse food that... I wasn't trying to do that. Coconut conditioner, deep clean cleanser, makeup remover pads, lip balm. Weird bump on horseback, how to deal with the breakup, boyfriend is missing, cheap booze cruises, how safe is a booze cruise, can you get seasick on a cruise ship? Pictures, uh, I don't know what that is. That's a horse, that must be the boyfriend. Amy, Jeff just dumped me where I'm really sorry what happened, well I tried to plan this memorable vacation, he just wants to be there with me I guess. 
I just fucking heard that. I definitely heard footsteps. I'm gonna go check real quick. Aha! I didn't hear the light bulb go out, but... from it must have been a different room fuck oh no so the best room we had tonight was night three out of a game that takes 10 nights <laughs> shit well thank you all for joining me along in that lovely game oh, god damn it <laughs> Uh, anyways, appreciate you all. Tonight was fucking outrageous. Um, ton of money came in tonight for this for our, our donations. So close, not really, but that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the I think the furthest I got was night four. Um, we got to night three tonight, so pretty much on par. It's not an easy game for that reason. So yeah, so thank you all for for being a part of uh jugtober tonight of my three-year stream anniversary um ton a ton of raids a couple new followers a couple of resubs i mean out fucking standing unbelievable support um i have no plans of stopping uh this is a lot of fun it's a it's something i get to do and it, it escape like the real world for a bit, even though we're all real world people, it's it's a different. I don't know. There's something about it I just really enjoy. Uh, having said that, as much as I love doing this, I need to cut the stream. It is one thirty in the morning, and uh, we have to go to one, so it's a little bit later than expected. Let me take a look around and see who's on. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go hang out with Jam. So my buddy Jam Gamer, he is part of Channel Thirteen Horror. Um, he is. Oh my God, he's doing Jamet tonight. So I, I understand a lot of you. It is late, and we're probably gonna be going to sleep soon. I promise you, it is worth it is worth following this raid over to go hang with Jam Gamer. He must have got enough subs on his subathon that he brought out Jamet, which is is him in a wig and makeup, and it is it is fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy right now that I get to go I get to hang out with him right now. Uh but he is playing some games and demos. I'm not sure exactly what he's gonna be playing. Uh he is listening to Goodbye Horses by Q Lazarus, though. <laughs> he's dancing right now. Candy, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you all for being a, a friend of mine and, and hanging out and uh, and raising money for an amazing cause like Hope for the Day. Um, but yeah, let's let's get this wrapped up, shall we? Um, so if you check in chat, there's going to be uh, some raid messages and some in, and some links with some other uh, for other platforms that I'm on. First and foremost, and I'll repaste it at the bottom. Uh, that's for subscribers. You can use that with all the emotes there. Good to go. Uh, otherwise, you can use the second line with like the pickaxe that says raid, or you can use any other generic or other um, emotes that you have access to. Cool with me. Uh, you can also follow me on a couple places. I'm on YouTube. We upload our VODs there. We upload uh, Twitch shorts. So let me kind of take a little hiatus on that, but I'll be back soon. Um, if you prefer the YouTube shorts to actually be on TikTok, guess what? I'm on TikTok. You can find me there too. Uh, Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it nowadays, the Elon Musk rat nest. Um, I am there for as long until they make me start paying for it. Uh, I share memes and schedules and go live posts and, uh, a bunch of things with channel 13, the CEO is a scream, so on and so forth. And last but not least, if you are a Discord user and you feel like 
you got room for one more discord server you want to be a part of before there's you're in too many of them uh or something on those lines or you just want to join a discord server come join ours the jug mob hangs out in the discord after stream before stream most of the time actually uh we go over you know there's people can make game recommendations there we'll talk about we'll take pictures of our food and stuff candy shows us all the fucking amazing food she gets to eat um we do community watch parties of different movies we do uh community game nights we have a jackbox party night coming up soon um in the meme channels there's a meme channel there's an nsfw meme channel oh my god and if you're also a streamer if you're in the discord i'm gonna throw you into my stream cord bot and it's gonna notify other people in the discord when you go live so it's a lot of good reasons to join the discord server if you haven't but i will never force anyone to join a discord server because i'm in way too many to begin with having said that we're gonna go jump over to Jam Gamer 1984. This guy is the master of horror, absolute master of horror. Very good friend of mine. Channel 13 horror. Uh, thanks for streaming. Thank you, Shuffle. Thank you for your donation. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for always being like super fucking supportive and an awesome goddamn friend. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laser. Thank you, everybody. There was like 40 something people in here. There's still 30 something people in here. I mean, this is fucking outrageous. I still have to go through and like get all the subs and bits and add that donation in too. But uh, I'll update in Discord a little, uh, probably tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go raid this fucking guy. Although this, or should I say, woman? Because tonight's Jamet. <laughs> so fucking funny. He's unbelievable. So please join me on this raid. Uh, throw in those raid messages when you get there show jam some love if you could and if you enjoy the content Hit that follow button. Let them know you're interested in coming back and checking out more but uh That's gonna do it for tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm gonna have my costume on I'm gonna look like the grabber from the black phone Ethan Hawks character We're gonna be playing devour with Noxler and maybe a few other channel 13 peeps who knows but uh, it's going to be a fun night. It's the last night of Jugtober. So uh, if you want a bit more madness before the end of the Halloween season, and Jugtober season, come on through. Come hang out with us. But uh, yeah, go hang out with Jam. Get some sleep. Or if you're, you're candy, you're already awake. Don't go to sleep yet. <laughs> um, have a great Tuesday. Have a great Halloween. And I will see you for the last few hours of Halloween in 2023. And uh, yeah, I love you all. I love you all. Thank you so much. Let's go hang with Jam. See ya.